Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another wonderful day here on the Double G Streams. And today, we're going to be continuing Pokemon Scarlet. I have to say, though, it's kind of odd. When I think about it, I've been playing a lot more, been playing a lot more Pokemon Unite than uh, Splatoon 3 over the course of time so far. So it's like, hmm, very interesting. Pardon me, I'm going to be eating a bit on the, on the side here from time to time. Let's have a nice, delicious breakfast from Subway. Thank you, Subway, for still having pretty decent food at a reasonable price. Got Ampharos here all ready to go. Now that it's a train up Amphi in the game, I think we're all set. Just kind of, I'm just going to try and power through the game today. I've been dilly dallying a lot the last two times and basically did nothing. <laughs> nothing at all the, the last two times. So now, this time, I think I'm gonna just have at it. Hit these trainers up, hit these gyms, take everything down as much as possible. And at some other point, I'm gonna just go ahead and try and take care of like all these hills and valleys and just search everything. We've got to find greens. Maybe Rum will come on. Are you rumbling tumbling? No, no, it won't. We'll still be hungry, and you'll be distracted by the hunger, too. You can even use it anyways. You can, like, bug something. Right here, it's bug poison. Bug flying. Pokemon takes a hit, you know, like how the NPC reacts. Drifling. At least Ghost. Ghost flying, right? Not exactly the fairy attack to use. You don't even truly have an attack either. Flying. Trying to get an official battle in there. In a way that the uh, make it paralyzed on automatic base, the automatic status infliction. Right, level up. Heck yeah. Slam. Come on and slam. And welcome to the jam. The pounds in the special and the regular attack, so. Hmm. Extend that one out a bit. 
kind of kind of spread that out. Don't need the double water moves, you know. Yep, be disappointed. Oh, sweet, evolving already. Oh, I didn't get to read it. It's like, oh, it's been registered. <laughs> I wanted to read the thing. That was a very helpful game. Meryl. Aqua Mouse Pokemon. The fur on its body naturally repels water. It can stay dry even when it plays in the water. Sweet. Young Goose go. I did not catch one, so... Small of time. Statuses are nice. <laughs> Small of <little> oil. <laughs> like such a bad joke. Small live. Olive Pokemon. It protects itself from enemies by emitting oil from the fruit on its head. The oil is bitter and astringent enough to make someone flinch. Uh, go for an obvious one. <laughs> oh, pardon me. But there's nothing wrong with low-hanging fruit. There we go. Like such. So that summary. Needs moves. It's a special attacker. Hmm. Just called gas. It would have been nice to use, but run about with a ghost. Or not with the grass, whoever the ghost type. Because that becomes ghost anyway, so. for like a little bit to get rid of red dots. Okay. 
of this one. Uh, okay, it's pretty faster. straight through it I'm like still capturing things and things on the side. Young Goose. Loitering Pokemon. Its stomach fills most of its torso. It wanders the same path every day, searching for fresh food. Healing. Thank you. Actually, I did need to know that. That would have been a lot. Very helpful last time. Why is there a tire on a quill pitch? Poison right in there, huh? Victory Road? I don't think that's, that's the mission. like a split. Hmm, what's going on over there? That's not the map button, I'll tell you. Reaps. That tiny one there. Took out the largest one. <laughs> no, first one I see. You're the chosen one. Alright, there's a tower. I might as well visit it. So there goes the second. Too many shiny things grabbing my attention. Diglett! Where'd you come from?
Hmm. Drop the static helps. Perfect. Be able to catch this. Cotton Spore is pretty good. It slowed the uh, opponents down. Partially lowers speed. Yeah. I don't want to give up on that. Um, I'm going to put it... That's tough, actually. Probably put it over the growl. I think simple moves I can just get back later anyways. <clears throat> Giglet, mole Pokemon. It lives about one yard underground where it feeds on plant roots. It sometimes appears above ground. Okay, this can't be fried. I wonder how old they are. Huh! Yeah! That <laughs> just can't be fries inside the double base. Mareeps are extremely friendly. Amazing how many Pokemon will walk up to you. Definitely an older package design. It's going to be interesting to find out if you ever get them out of there. <laughs> Electro Ball! User is. I think Mareep's not that fast. Oh, we know what that is. Let me see some real fast. Summary. Your speed. Hmm. Stream Instruments is a challenge if you've ever had one. I do know that one. I mean, there was a guitar at my grandfather's house, and there was something stuck inside of it, and you had to, like, slide it in a, in a way to try and get it out to get back through the acoustic hole. I don't know if I ever got the thing out of there. on speed, which just won't go for Marie. But maybe something else can learn Electro Ball. That'd be cool. Alright, I'm gonna save just in case.
could have whittled it down a bit. Can't tackle it. So that's good for now. regular defense stat. I think the regular defense stat is, is pretty low for um, <clears throat> this Marie. I'm sure I'm sure for Marie what you want is the um, the um, the nature that gives it less attack but more more special defense. Or maybe even regular defense. Just to kind of edge that out a bit. Poison Fang. It's a physical. And this thing is a physical attacker. The badly poisonous compared to regular poison. Acid Spray does lower the special defense, Dad, but. Hmm. I think I want to play into the, uh, just making it a strict upgrade since it plays into the attack stat better. Kimigul, coin chest Pokemon. This Pokemon was born inside a treasure chest about 1500 years ago. It sucks the life force out of scoundrels who try to steal the treasure. Gimme Ghoul. Hmm. I do want to nickname it. Now it's a now it's a givey ghoul. Going from gimme to givey. Could make it gummy, but I don't know. There we go. Thanks for summary though. And we have astonish and tackle. Boom, it's giving it. Hit by a dark ghost bug type attack with intimidate, which boosted speed stat. Your special attacker. Got it. A bit tanky too. Low on the speed, pretty high on the HP. I mean your defense stat is lowered. And it's still really good and on par with the special defense. And your special attack is high. I guess it makes sense it's a ghost type after all. Um, hmm. Try to add you. I... Don't know where I'd put you in the party. Just like that. I think they would yank the arms off or something. Bumped in the birds. Alright. Get thundershot. I've got to give you a potion.
Speed is pretty high. Actually, 60 power and still has 35, so it's strictly better peck. Alright. Just upgrade the move. Why the heck not? being selected. You're being recruited. I forgot to heal up. That should do well enough. Use the robot because I wanted to have the experience point. I feel like a tackle would do too much. Let's go try again. Be Pokemon. At night, Combi sleep in a group of about a hundred, packly packed closely together in a lump. I'm 16, I'm still kicking. I'm gonna have to take on a gym. Pardon me, Manuel the student. And then, yeah. 60 year old student. Alright! I guess, I guess this school operates like a like a college style thing. Right. I mean, if you're going to a college, you're still technically a college student, but, uh, yeah. Considering the stuff for this game, it's like, huh. Special attacker. I'm gonna give you some new moves. Fast there, small of. Mm. 
Yes, incinerate. And you're a tad more of a special attack. Okay, what is he studying? Uh, I don't know. Hey, there's a Pokemon over there. Let me get it. Yo, what up, the Vince? How you doing? Check me out. I'm 16. I'm getting beat before I even get to the gym. I'm 60, and I'm getting beat before I get to the gym. I was gonna go to the gym, but now I'm beat. I'm so beat. Hey, you. Get over here. We gotta evolve you. Get Thunder Wave. What? Well. Shit, this game's pretty good. Probably hit with the second one. I'll just do that every time for any status affliction, no matter how I got it. That's pretty strong. This is a very competitive cricket tot. Probably not. I'll make it. Make it be competitive. Cricket tot. Cricket Pokemon. It's a. <laughs> Its legs are short. Whenever it stumbles, its stiff antennae clack with a xylophone-like sound. Uh, nope. You might go over the small of garden. I should check its stats first. Never got to do that. I'm just being dummy. Poke tackle growl. So you need, you need some work. You got speed, no special attack. You're a physical attacker, which makes sense to me. Jolly nature. Jolly good. Heck is it? Poke Portal. I'm not gonna worry about that. And we'll move you back over. I'm not going about Sun Curtain. Or Sun Flora or all that. Pediment Mint. That's a wheelbarrow. I'm like, what is this? Special terror type Diglett. Let me check the party. Can you try to catch it? But it's like. Okay. I went from being a ground type to a rock type, and if you were like something else, like, I don't know, poison or something, if you had some unique terror type, that'd be interesting. You avoided it! Wow. I also get some to match, huh? This wasn't a pure hit for 20, but that'll take you down to like. Eight. Get 
Please keep using Astonish. Astonish is a bad choice. Astonish, so we're good. Did it break? Thanks. Do is just go to the box. It's not a very wild. Super different Terra typing. I was like, ooh! Interesting at least. So what's up? So what is this? It's the spider with a a poison terror type. Hmm. Eh. Hey, submarine. What? I did not bump to the smallest. Out of here. Thank you. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to bother with that one. The train over there, I'll take care of them. And her it, whatever it might be. Tone B. Keeps me having to, like, train it. Of 27! Incinerate. Uh, I have to a lot <laughs> just to try and take this thing down. <laughs> like, it might be a slightly high level or something, right? Maybe this isn't a mistake? I was wrong. I was very wrong. <laughs> stop. Let's please stop at three. Three sharps will take it down. Have a great boss, we'll just go for that. Catch this well ahead of schedule. Fuck! Hopefully they only hit twice.
Oh, thank you for avoiding it. You know, forget trying to uh, catch it. I'm just gonna try to obliterate it. That's right, you're confused. Huh, the animation for hurting itself with confusion is pretty funny. I think that really helps confusion, huh? Then I could just use Swagger again. Oh, thank you for Coco. Oh well. Come on, you can do it. Hit, hit, hit. Eesh. Stuff confusion hurts a lot. But then again, that's probably, that's probably the whole point of swagger. Just go for it. Had to do that. Attack them for Coco so I could probably just go for a tackle when it would go for a lot of damage. But bide my time for like. Actually, that ball helps on bug type of. Not luxury ball! I want to go over that. I missed! Oh, it appeared to be caught. I hell it did! Alright, that ball's gonna be the only hope. I had to hit more than. Just gone for it. Didn't hit luxury ball instead. Sorry, Foy Coco. Focus energy increases critical hits, right? Yep. I'll take that over, Coffee Cat. So let me go talk to talking to you. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> this 
special defense, which you already have a lot of. You have static. Hmm. What would the Mareep do? Wouldn't mind skipping over the learning charge for now. Hmm. You're not much of a attacker. You're, you're gonna get rid of the tackle. Alright. Super definitely special attack grows all at once, boosting attack and special attack. Beehive Pokemon. It houses its colony and cells in its body and releases various pheromones to make those grubs do its bidding. Nope. Send a box. Yeah! Evolution. result of storing too much electricity. It developed patches where even downy wool won't grow. got really ahead of Fuecoco there. Damn. I'll just have more vibes. Go to the Pokemon Center, come right back, beat you up. Simple as. Yeah, they certainly do. Knows that. Hello there, I'm a Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles. Well, good news. If you can defeat five trainers here in Area 2 of South of the South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far you defeated two trainers here in Area 2. Once you defeat five trainers, you'll get a lovely prize. They were done, but yes. Defeat five. You defeated two. Remember to defeat five. I hope you can count. Start counting. Bought some delicious cake from Patisserie Soapberry. Let's celebrate with a battle. 
risky battle, won't you drop your cake? Fanfi! I like the way Fanfi looks over Dawn Fan. Hmm, you're gonna be more of a ground type. Must be the bite. Haha, <laughs> yeah, punch. What else you got? You just have that one, huh? Yeah, replace the move with bounce. What you got? Bounce is flying. You're a good balance between special attack and attack, so you can use either or. He's about to tie on his first turn, drops on the target next turn. Also leave the target with paralysis. Ooh. Doesn't always have the accuracy, though. That's more accuracy than slam. Speed's pretty decent. Mm, learn over helping hand. This cake makes me so happy I don't even mind losing! Then why didn't you just eat your cake? Eat your cake, guy. You've got a hair across. This is Cortando. It's a nice round sounding name, isn't it? Like a lovely olive. What is that thing? What the fuck is that? Interesting. Yes, please. Pika Pika? <laughs> wow. Four helpings of lettuce. Three onion, please. Like, no thanks for the mayonnaise. I'm just gonna skip out now. But give me the mustards. Pepper for the turmeric in the mustard. Fresh produce, look no further than Deli Kyoso. What would you like? Maybe it's like Deli Kyoso. Egg, a potato, potato salad, and chorizo. Chorizo, please. Much chorizo. Sir, I don't like them. Don't like the spiders. Why is there big old spider web stuff like here? Speaking of don't liking. <laughs> it's a 
someone interacted with the Pokemon. Oh, never mind then. I got enough bug types here. Oh, those are pretty cool. What are those loud noises up there? Oh, they're just battling. It's all good. That thing just summoned down meteors. Oh, I'm trying to eat cake. Yeah, your and your problem. This seems very dangerous for cake eating. All right, where's Nimona? Rivals always show up. Our gym leader here is Cortando. Our gym leader here in Cortando is the battling baker herself, Katy or Katie. Don't let her sweet looks fool you into letting down your guard. You come to Cortando right in the middle of our Olive Harvest Festival. The gym test here serves as a part of the festival too. Oh, there she is. Hey, LTO. What's up, Nimona? Came to see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. You're out to earn some gym badges and take on the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yeah, why not? Yes, I knew it. I'm so glad I asked you to do it. Before you can battle the gym leader, you've got to pass a certain challenge set by them. Their gym test. Every gym's test is different. If you ask the lobby staff about it, they'll tell you what's up. Here, have these. When you use them, consider it me healing up your Pokemon. Cool, I could use some super potions after that stupid Vespa Queen. Uh, I'm so glad you'll be able to be a champion too. This is the best news ever. Man, I'm so excited, I can barely stand still. Guess I'll just go battle every trainer I run into. Bugs. Welcome to Kotando Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Altio, yes? Alright, Altio, yes. You're going to go right over here. Great! Now, in order to face Gym Leader Katie, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at Kotando Gym, that means taking on the Olive Roll! Olive production is a big part of life in Kotando. We've held the Olive Harvest Festival here each year for generations to usher in bumper crops. To pass our gym test, you'll need to roll an olive shaped ball all the way to the goal. Your efforts should help ensure we get great olive harvest next year, too. The staff are over at the olive rolling field will explain the rules to you in further detail. I'll register the location in your map app. It's just to the north of town. Now get out there and have fun! I guess I can try. So, just like Gen 8. Not exactly having, like, a battle through the people at a gym kind of a thing. You know, rest it. But they actually take place like out and about. You gotta go somewhere. Well, that was one way to jump over a fence. Two more trainers out here somewhere. Well, there's one. Dig him. Get out of the way. Diglet, dig, diglet, dig. Curious about Team Star, huh? You go to the academy, right? Do you know about Team Star? Angel the Cardia. What are you delivering? A strict beating.
obvious choice here. Like, what are the odds of actually a water move? Very high, apparently. Effective at least. Nice iron, iron defense. Have we tried maybe um, special defense? It crit? I was like, it probably crit, didn't it? Absolutely no reason for it to crit there. Kind of this thing to, um... Gain some experience points. Jerk! I have no idea what mass shift is. But I am mad, and Flamingo is gonna get the swap in. Go, go, Flamingo! Flamingo! Thing about Team Star, I lost. Yeah, you definitely seem strong enough. You probably be able to beat one of them. Yeah, go Coco. Go go for it, Coco go 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 for it, Coco. Crocolore, dude, that should be your name. Forget Skeledurge, just Crocolore. Croc Lord. Probably on. Nickname you afterwards. <laughs> I, didn't, I wanted it to go. I have to go read it on my own now. Macaroni. 
won't fit. Lord Croconator. Doesn't doesn't work very well, but we'll go with it. Well, that's the fastest travel. This travel's actually like down and around. the tower over there, even though it's just on that tower. Oh, here's a question. Can I even get to it? Yeah. Some kind of sword, maybe. Oh, I didn't read this either. Crocolore. Fire croc Pokemon. The combination of Crocolore's fire energy and overflowing vitality has caused an egg-shaped fireball to appear on the Pokemon's head. Overflowing vitality. Yeah, I can get to that tower. Uh, I guess I do once I cross over here. Not exactly where I'm headed, but... Yo, what up? Yeah, level 10. And it's not very effective. In what ways would Dark type not be very effective? Right, got the mashup anyways. What do you do, dear mashup? Mashup Fang? Why are we selling this Pokemon's teeth? Oh, because it, it, it itself is a dark type. It's just dark. Got it. Mashup, rascal Pokemon. It always scouts in an attempt to make opponents take it seriously. But even crying children will burst into laughter when they see Mashup's face. It kind of does have that, like, pitiable, like, oh, you're so cute, like, pet it, kind of a dog. Uh, nah. And the boss. I don't think you're not right dark type right now. Well, it's Pikachu. Ground type Ralt? Okay. Kind of me intrigued. I'm going for it.
it needs lots of healing. party rate with like just here's some computers because it's gonna be impossible for me to like <laughs> beat this game relatively quickly there's way too much for me to get lost in doing Spin on that one. Cousin Shuriken or something? Sweet! Is that a crit catch? Wow. I give you a lot. That's a genius feather. Some pearls. Damn, all right. They give you things. Uh. Does this world get a nickname? Summary. We're in level you starting off at 12. Ground Terra. Still got the usual moves that uh, some of these. Uh, but you got up special attack, down attack. Hmm. It's somewhat vain. <laughs> You're most deserving of a nickname. Because <laughs> you've got the appropriate nature, so it's like, oh. Yeah, your nickname should have been gone from waifu to, like, best waifu or something. No, oh, well, that's done for now. Well, that was cool. And it actually worked out. At least when things work out. Are you a re school mate? There only seems to be, like, one school for the entire region, so... 
at least that's the implication. So yeah, definitely. Maybe classmates are going to the same class. But Carlos! You're getting, you're getting some, some, some trouble there. You've been in the academy for a long time, haven't you? Not as long as Manuel from earlier. Tadball. Called Gabriel. Yeah, it does that kind of done it does look like it. Yeah, no, I'm seeing it. Go oh, Lord Croc. You know so much more than me when we've been taking the same classes. Oh, you really want to battle, huh? Like some sort of gimmick, goal, but you're on the sign. Oh, you're gonna give me one coin? Oh, buddy, buddy, why only one coin? Natural underpass. I didn't even get to see what it was. Thanks, game. Alright, what was it? Bang. Hey, you get potion. Grassy terrain. Use returns the ground to grassy terrain for five turns. Towards you put on the ground and... A little every turn powers of grass type moves. Hmm. Interesting. Smolin can learn it. Could be very useful. I'll consider it. Tell you the way. What do you mean you got lost? Where am I supposed to go from here? I haven't got a clue. I'm just aimlessly wandering. Check your map, buddy. Backpacker Alex. Pack up your backpacks, Backpacker Alex. Chin with Scott. He's got a backpack. Wonder who that looks like. Hmm. Hmm. 
I don't really know. What for? For? Fire v. Fire, huh? I mean, I flinched. Now I'm mad. Crowlers are pretty fast. I can't complain. Raising attack. They're pretty smart. One down. Sableye. Uh, I don't really have a fairy move. What's more of a ghost? I guess I can hit it with any old, any old biting move. Good old uh, blight. New dark type update. Handy crit. Yeah, baby! That's what I'm talking about! That's what it's all about. Defeated Backpacker Alex. Is Lucian you supposed to help me find my way? Yeah, find your way out of training. Ha ha ha! Yeah, Chudo caught one of those before. Right on could any of the dons could easily scale that. Gee. Oh well, whatever. Can't scale a wall. Big scaly Pokemon. Dude just gotta run around again. For no good reason. I guess I definitely get the prize off the person now, so this is that I guess. Send the dog. Let the tiny dog go. <sighs> Jesus, it's a long way back. Yeah, okay. I get triggered. You're the one I beat up earlier, right? Yes, you was. Be the kid, why not? Psst. 
I'm not getting my bug pup on a lot of experience. Good. Good. I'll get some more right now. Because <laughs> I should drop the G fuel. Alright, youngster. Pokeball suspenders is pretty cool. I would totally wear that in real life. You got the right Pokemon too. You're gonna Della Della -la 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 yeah, pretty later on, so. Good choice, kid. Good choice. Oh, I bet I could have beat you if I evolved my Pokemon. Hmm, maybe. So many hoppips. Mareeps. What would Eevee stat Mareeps give you? I never check out the genius feather. Wrong button. Wrong buttons! Not box. Bag. Bag. Big old bag. New perfect thing. He's yeah, known for five years. The only perfect thing he had known for five years. The sentence structure does feel odd. Um, depending how the previous, like how many words before it went, in an additional context, but it's like I'd probably go with thing, and it, and for five years, it was the only perfect thing he he knew. was the only perfect thing he had known for five years. Hey, I'd say in typical English, you'd probably start off with how long he's known that thing rather than like the thing he's knowing it and then saying how long he's known it for. Like, for five years, it was the only perfect thing he knew. Just flows a bit better. For five years, it was the only perfect thing he knew. Sounds like, yeah, it's supposed to be all just like one sentence. All depending, I'd either rearrange it where you just put the five years thing first, or see if there's a way you can tack it onto the previous sentence and then put like an, like a comma and in there or something like that. Because if, if you, I think just the slight rearrangement might be all it needs, but it could flow better if it gets mashed with the previous sentence. All depending, all depending. But that's what I would recommend. Also, there's stuff from, uh, Toon. Hmm, very good sentencing. I like it. Go, go. 
Might as well go and heal up Vickle. Vickle! Lord Croc! Not why, but what are you wearing? Uh, I believe Jasmine is probably helping to revise a book that her friend is writing. I think her friend has asked her to kind of help be her editor, and so Jasmine's helping with that. But uh, if you want a good sentence structuring person, Professor here is going to be the perfect person to ask since he writes 30,000 words a day. So, but yeah, you long to be there now. Lost amongst the labyrinth of metal, engines, and machinery. All of it antique. I've replaced that one comma with an extra answer. Metal and engines and machinery. Comma, all of it antique. Otherwise, that might be too many commas. Just reduce that one comma. And then, um... perfect thing to know. So yeah, given given that previous sentence, it's like the only perfect was the only perfect thing he had. He wished to be there. See, he longed to be there now. So, if we wish to be there, so I would change that to because if he's longing to be there, I'd probably change that sentence into like for five years. Change the that though. For five years, he had like dwelled at that perfect place. A comment after engine and make it a series. Ah, that's a good idea. Remove remove the other and and just keep up with the commas. It, instead of having less commas, maybe one more helps. Oh, it should it should naturally also have the uh, comma there as well, right? Metal, engines, machinery, all of it antique. Yeah, that would read perfectly. Yeah, considering considering that context, considering the context of, like, he, he longed to be at this place, it was the only perfect thing he had known for five years. That sentence just needs a complete redone. Nah, you know what? Yeah, just make it was the only perfect thing he had known for five years. It's like it left the perfect five years in his memory. There's lots of ways you can mess around with that, you know. 
It was a perfect place for five years. Kind of sentence. Yeah, I know it won't be very effective with the level difference. Catch this rock, bro. Pokeball? I gotta buy a new Pokeball. Competent and critical in her words. Competent and critical, comma, in her words. Rock Ruff, Poppy Pokemon. This Pokemon is very friendly when it's young. Its disposition becomes vicious once it matures, but it never forgets the kindness of its master. Whoop. Well, do you know what happened like this? Oh, yeah, I do know. I do know. I was just, like, kind of adding that, like, comma in there for myself as well for others. Like, oh, you know. I know you're, I know you're very lax. Plus, trying to help him create the, uh, the right saying, like, yeah, your friend's words, you call your competent. The five-year sentence is a subordinate clause as is. It needs a subject. You can break it into two sentences or add verbs. Hmm. And party. What does Rock even help, like, deal with? Ice. There's the fighting, there's the water, there's the grass, there's the ground. Being a lot of the same things that like, water does. Everything he had known for five years did what? It needs a verb, something simple that merely expresses being. So probably as simple as like the only perfect thing he had known for five years, or the only perfect place he had known for five years, swelled in his mind. The only perfect place he had known for five years. Because it sounds like this is like a place. Because he longed to be there now. Swelled in his mind, swelled in his mind. You know. Uh -oh. Glimmered brightly in his memory. Stuff like that. I see what you mean by, like, tacking onto it. Let's go, real loot. Can't uh, hit you with bite. At level 19? Not exactly steel yet, are you? I should be able to 
Gosh dang it. You really have to use counter? Thanks for using Metal Claw. I'm just put you in a heal ball. I think it is missing a subject for which it is an object, or at minimum you could attack on a predicate. Sounds pretty good. Ryulu, Emanation Pokemon. They communicate with one another using their auras. They are able to run all through the night. Uh... Yes, you're going to be all capitals. And it fits perfectly. <laughs> uh, what's your summary? Change protocol, counter, and work up. Pokemon's determination boots its pizza every time it flinches. Pretty solid. I don't want to use it because it's a cute doggo, but I think I'll just stick to Flamigo. I wish someone was like a teacher right now, right? I'll leave it be. You go to the box. Go to the box. 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 Like Lucario. <laughs> yeah, Strifflin, didn't I catch you before? Why is there a special terror type Scyther? And I am scared. Is it going to be an ins insanely high level? I'm doomed, aren't I? There th these things up here are all like level... 20 and whatnot. This doesn't feel safe. Something feels wrong. Very wrong about this area. Oh boy. Maybe I can um, try to sneak up on the Scyther. Please just don't do Shadow Ball again. Fuck! Why are you a jerk? Why are you a jerk? Why are you a jerk? How many uses does Shadow Ball have? Only five, I hope, right? Hopefully not 20. That necessarily helps it. Actually, it's normal. That'll work. Let's type this and change from the <laughs> later on. It's faster. Sweet. Alright, we're just gonna keep using Shadow Ball. Probably have a chance to revive. Pokemon need their experience points! I can survive one more hit. Thank goodness. 
Why doesn't... Went to the Shadow Ball. <laughs> So much. Doesn't make any sense to me. ghosted me. <laughs> Why is Payback doing so much damage? Punch, please. Or use Hex. You know what? That's perfect, too. Stop using Payback. Sweet water. I'm gonna do something foolish and go for the scyther. This will not end up well. Drifloon, balloon Pokemon. It is whispered that any child who mistakes Drifloon for a balloon and holds on to it could wind up missing. Uh no. You are going to the box. There are so many Pokemon to catch here, what the heck? Red dots. Your fluent gas. Look, he just sweat. <laughs> These ingredients sound awful. Coco's out front. Let's see what Terra type he gets, though. It'll probably just completely invalidate my Terra. Yo, what up, Scyther? Yo, what up? Level 22. Okay, this might be doable. Better than the uh, Vespa Queen was. Be astonished. Be caught off guard. What do you got? What are you? What? What even are you? Normal type. It's the big giant ring. Hmm. I think it's actually the way to go for you. This thing's really 
really not good against you. And your bug moves can't do much. Now your normal type. Just go all out. Yeah, pretty much. I got a free thing off of that. Mm, let's give the terrestrialization. I'll wait. Right, yeah, because it'll automatically stop the battle once it gets too low. And, uh... Because, yeah, for all intents and purposes, it's basically considered a normal type. Raids reset the status, etc. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I didn't know if it did or didn't, so I'm like, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna risk anything useful in the field. That, is, that does sound very useful, yes. I'm out of my... He's been netball already. I should buy some. You need to stop at the concert and just buy stuff. Alright, that worked out very well. Much easier to deal with this level 22 Scyther than level 27 Vespa Queen. Hmm. Kick if it is one of those giant sized Pokemon. Hmm. Not the special defense type, though. Scyther in here. Scyther, Mantis Pokemon. It slashes through grass with its sharp sides, moving too fast for the human eye to track. Hmm, no nickname. Yeah, I'm gonna check your summary, though. I kind of want to swap you in. With a normal Terra type, it's like, it's not too bad. Special for you, defense down, defense. We need she attack and speed. I don't have a defense level 40, level 22. It's not bad. Change your leer away from something so when you when you tear a type, it's pretty good. Hmm. <sighs> That's a give and take though. I like it, though. I do like it. Rock. Rock beats two of my things pretty well. Lose the two of my things. But it's a doggy! I want to use the rougher. But it's Scyther! Scyther. Mm. Screw it. Pretty perfect going on going ons around here. Get some health. Stop it. Get some health. Hey, it looks this thing looks good for Nida up in here. But I literally walked towards the. Oh.
I think up here is really powerful, level 21, level 20 something. Alright, burn it. I'm way too strong, way too fast by accident. That's right, level up. Oh, did it really disappear? Fighting this thing, I forgot. But Professor, uh, when we want to get that ghastly in here? Not ghastly, uh, Gengar. Level up the Gengar! I'm gonna run out of Pokeballs, too. Shucks. Everything. This is delightful. Meditate. Meditate, Pokemon. It never skips its daily yoga training. It heightens its inner strength through meditation. Still technically Dalsium, but... What even are you? Yoga fire becomes yoga flavor. <laughs> Little. What even? Don't you want to heal? Now you're making me mad. Lord Croc. Lord Croc is shiny! But not that kind of shit. Won't get in the heal ball. Gets in the normal Pokeball. Okay. Whatever, Flittle. Flittle. <laughs> nice through the ground camera. <laughs> Flittle, frail Pokemon, and it's a psychic type. Flittle's toes levitate about half an inch above the ground because of the psychic power emitted from the frills on the Pokemon's belly. Hmm. Tiny goat. I'm gonna go for the big goat. Or a slightly bigger goat. I might just accidentally change it though. We'll see. Take 
err on the side of probably destroying it. No, it did a little bit above half, so it'll actually be fine to use. Dare defy Lord Croc! Call him King Croc instead. I probably should do. You're still gonna get in the pocket. You understand that? Have I made myself quite crystal clear, pun intended? That's right, get in there! Skiddo, Mount Pokemon. Until recently, people living in the mountains would ride on the backs of these Pokemon to traverse the mountain paths. Should name you like Bunyan or something. Big old ox. Alright, cool. No, I should have swapped to Azumarill first. Azu. Uh, ground type so. Yeah, it's well then. Two. Thanks, jerk. Okay. Maybe yellow enough. Get in the heal ball. Cool. Poor Zoomerol, though. Why is um uh, Boltos being so effective on a Zoomerol? Mud Bray, Donkey Pokemon. This Pokemon covers itself in mud that it has regurgitated. Gross. The mud won't dry out even if it's exposed to the sun for a long time. Nope. But that's a little factoid I could have gladly done without. Yeesh. Yo, what up, Gastly? I already caught one of your kind. Uh, you seem to be a pretty gigantic Gastly. Not gonna lie. Catch a Pokemon till morning. Hmm. Damn it, no way. 
I should have known a Fampy would have that. Oh, it's gonna be stronger the next time he uses it, so. Oh, it's faster. Alright. Didn't, didn't kill. So that would probably balance out to normal. Normal damage on Flamigo. Yeah, that is normal damage, so we're good. Normal types of giving it. Perfect. That one's probably gonna hurt, but geez. That was a big ramp up in, uh. Very big ramp up in, uh, damage. From use. Oh, damn it. Thank you! Alright, no more Pokeball it is. Swap in Ampharos for. Wall blue, and then just head back to the center. Cause, oh my gosh, this is too much. This is too much for my frail heart. Where's the extra H? It's always been Fanfy? Nah, Fanfy's better. Fanfy. Long nose Pokemon. This Pokemon lives and nests on a riverbank. After playing in the mud, it won't be able to settle down unless it washes its body. Pure ground, you are a pure ground. Hmm. Always do like you. I don't like your evolution. Send a box. First off, we'll go to the top of the list. Have lots of league points to be able to really restock here. Might as well put team back in the uh. Flaffy, so it's probably gonna be faster. I mean, it's ghastly after all, so. Thunder wave it, then maybe it can just escape. Really? It's still just that fast, huh? Crit, nice. <laughs> gas, the gas. That's right, Bean Azumarill. Maximize thine self. Azumarill, Aqua Rabbit Pokemon. Its long ears are superb sensors. It can distinguish the movements of things in water and tell what they are. Cool. Alright. Swabbly, let's go.
Blah, 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 blue. More like Swa Green, huh? Cool, as long as this one doesn't crit, and I think we're set. Pokemon want to be caught today. I'm running out of things to capture them in. Swablu. Cotton bird Pokemon. It constantly grooms its cotton like wings. It takes a shower to clean itself if it becomes dirty. To the box, please. Right to the box. Bro, what? Yeah, join in. Toxic. Just a thunder wave. It can't affect me. You're like a poison E like, right? To the wheel. Toxel, baby Pokemon. It has no problem drinking dirty water. An organ inside Toxel's body filters such water into a poisonous liquid that is harmless to Toxel. Seems like such a strong combination. What is your summary? Pure poison terror type. I think we're gonna have the electric type, but meh. Flail box nuzzle. Tearful look. Quirky nature gives you no no changes. Much more of a special attacker. But you don't have that much extra speed. Hmm. Oh well, pretty cool. I'd love to train some weird team typings. That's finally everything in the area? Or are the Pokemon around here way too strong? We should uh, probably turn back, huh? We should probably turn back, huh? Pascal, the student.
You're faster than a cat. What's cat even evolve into? my accuracy, huh? swap it. <laughs> Scythe right now. So, that's right. Scythe is actually going to be far more leveled than any of the other Pokemon on this team so far. I forgot I caught it at such a high level. Scythe is such a badass. Turned away. Oh, you do not respect me, huh? Well, I'll just go beat a, beat a uh, gym then. Scyther won't obey. That means soon all my Pokemon won't obey until I beat this gym. Yeah, that'd be annoying. Try Scyther. I need to uh, swap his nickname. Now. Gotta go King Croc. King Croc! I'd be fine out here if I were as strong as you are. Hmm. To do. stuff. I'll actually just start using some of those. <laughs> I like the symbol for it. Is it? I'm probably just gonna take it on just because.
Spectre won't listen, so... Flamingo can get in there. Go, go, Flamingo! You're my Flamingo! Wing attack. Wing attack. Wing attack. Snacks, huh? Glad you avoided it. Thank you. Just stay put. Perfect. I want to take down. Hmm. Let me see. As long as take down is one of those recoil moves. Kind of is. I guess not that great. No learning that move. Dunsparce. Land snake Pokemon. It creates mazes in dark locations. When spotted, it flees into the ground by digging with its tail. Nope. Pokemon's gonna have a fire type. No, oh, it's a sun current. No, you know, it's got ears. Ugh. I'll try and find out what this is. I'm, I'm just curious. Sure do look interesting. Ascend on. That, that's gonna look cool to me every single time. Every single time. Crystal capture. Blood juice. They give you so much stuff. Tell me about Applin. Come on, Pokedex. What you got? Pokedex, what you got? Gotta always wait for its password registered. Applin. Apple Corp Pokemon. It grows by eating the flesh of an apple. 
Applin uses its own body fluid to strengthen the apple's skin and prevent it from rotting. Hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dragon type? Pardon me here. Grass dragon? Okay. You, you totally deserve a good nickname. I don't know what, though. Um, you're totally joining the team. Like, Scyther, goodbye. I need to see what this dragon looks like. Uh, oh, I need a nickname. Applin. This face kind of reminds me of a T.O. strip bit, but I want to name it after something Monster Hunter if I could. Probably asking for too much, though. Grass dragon with a fire... Fire terror type. So it could probably... It might be able to actually be able to use some fire moves thanks to its dragon typing. Um, hmm. Fire time could actually help it beat off some of the types that never kind of sort of beat it. I mean, the ice. The, uh... Okay, what's double weak to ice? Ice, uh... Bug. That's now fairy. Doesn't take much difference from the fire type, but... Applin. I ain't got no good name for it. And then really bad pun nicknames. I wonder if it fits. Fits. Uh, I'll be probably be streaming all day. I'll probably be going with Pokemon almost till probably closer to maybe 3.30. Then swap over to Magic the Gathering for a couple hours. But I will be here all day. But I won't be on Pokemon all day. That's the only difference. That's the only thing of notice. Mm, I don't like that name. It can just stay Applin. Everyone check the summary, but you know what? Whatever. Um, mine starts off at level 12. Yeah, what? We can get on that right away. Do I need to go to a, uh, can I just use the Poke Portal, or do I have to go to a Pokemon Center for that? No idea how it works. Well, no time like the present to find out, huh? We'll just go for it right now. So it doesn't have very. It's got. It's very defense. It's very physical defense. Sucker punch, astonish, rollout, defense, curl. Hmm. Interesting. Log in. You can figure it out. Sounds good. Defense and speed. Low speed. It's only level 12. But compared to its... Like, its defense stat is high. It's got HP. So it's great for physical defense, but man, if I could swap out some of its special attack for, like, special defense or something. But that means its attack and defense would be about... Its a special attack and regular attack would be about the same. I'm sure I would still greatly maybe swap off... Very low speed, so if we give it a really lower speed up that special defense, that would have been great. Impish. Needs like a poison, so maybe I'll give it acid spray over sucker punch. I don't 
think you need certain moves. I honestly don't. But I guess first we'll have to see if I even, uh... Can't even learn grassy terrain. Shit. Alright, I can't learn anything I could give it right now. <sighs> Weird. Not boxes bad. Let's start. Let's start giving it. Stop there. You push him, but we need not use it. Okay. Union Circle. Okay, so yeah, it's just under this. Offline mode. L to connect to internet. Your game will be saved. Yes, please. Mighty Charizard! Rank Battle Season 1. Oh yeah, I haven't done the, uh... Oh, February... Get the Internet Mystery Gift. What's up, Lacey? How you doing? Searching for gifts. Flying Terra Type Pikachu. Balloon Kachu. So, uh, Drifloon and... Alright, I guess, I guess, um... It's the Blimp version of Drifloon. Drift Blim. It's a Drift Blim. It's Drift Blim. Drift Blim and Right You got together. <laughs> this is what you get. Pikachu. Mouse Pokemon. When it is angered, it immediately discharges the energy stored in the pouches in its cheeks. Okay, so we need to go to the same Pokemon Center. Then you can set a code. Just go to where is closest to you. You can fly there. Okay.
quick. I don't think we even need to. I can just use this, uh, the link trade might, might do it simply. I'm all for adventuring, though. I want to try the, uh, but yeah, you can do it this way. But going to the, uh, the closest place sounds much more fun. Uh, Los Platos is really close. Yeah, right. Los Platos it will be. I'll just have to travel down the hill. Seems like it won't be too bad of a, uh... Travel back. I think the traveling on about's way more way more fun way to do it. Oh, so these are all palmies. I'm like, what are those? I saw a chance for a particular Pokemon, so I'm gonna go for that first. Yeah, I'll meet you at the low spot. Of this. Just no, I saw something. No, it's just a Metatite. Never mind. Boss alarm! Nothing here. further up this way, so, well, can't do anything about it now. Whoa! Hey, I made it. Jeez, that's a lot of goats. No, whatever I was looking at is all gone. I can remember stuff hitting the wrong button. There, it disappeared. This green is north, so let's go ahead like... Okay, got it. Yo, what up, goats? I think even close. This goat ass. I can. Oh, that's right. They do. They still do taxi services around here, don't they? I can. I can. Just can go down this hill. So work. Insomnia. Oh yeah, that's exactly what I'm just gonna go off the cliff. I'm riding Coridon, so we're just gonna go down the cliff. I didn't oh, man. I don't know who tried to learn faint, but I am not gonna worry about it. Protect! Wasn't that great of a... Not Teresa. There we go. What is that thing? I'm not going to worry about that. There are more important things. We'll take care of them. That was a bigger fall than I wanted to right on to have. Ultra Ball.
into my dirt. and trades or terry battles with anyone but your fellow group members when you're playing out together as a group. Oh. Button, button, buttons. Too many buttons. I keep getting confused. Heal, please. Create group set code. Okay, so we're gonna do the create group way. That'd, that'd be nice to actually try to kind of test that out. Form a group. Do you want to use the union circle? Yep. Region, or I'm sorry, no region, version specific Pokemon will appear in the other player's game while doing the Union Circle stuff. So if you have, you're playing Violet, I'm playing Scarlet, the uh, version specific Pokemon can start appearing for either of us to catch without even fully needing to trade them. Play in a strong environment. Don't have bad internet. Got it. Share this code with friends you want to form a group with. GNFG zero C. So I don't even get to set the code, it just generates one. Sweet. So if this is the Naranja Academy, what is it in the uh, your version? It looks like it has like a symbol of grapes, which I don't remember the word for. Uva. Wow, that's right. Well, your wares looking pretty good. Mesa Goza. All right. Huh, let's put us over here. Nice. <laughs> it's not willing to face the. This is the Iron Valiant. Okay, it does look pretty cool. Not gonna lie. They do throw it out of the Pokeball down beneath it. Well, that's what it looks like in that form, huh? I wonder why it shows that symbol every now and again. This means menuing or something. You know, fun here. Bye, please. Trade for Gengar. Okay. Just want to see if there's a is there any way to do trading while we're in a group like this. Because you can't it said you can't do link trade while you're in this mode. E four seven two. Except probably only with the uh, 
the person you're pounding around. This. Cool. Send this thing over. And then, yeah, yeah, I know, just send it right back. I'm like, ah, who do I want to go on the little, who goes on the little vacation? Send this box over. <laughs> but I know, I know they're just going to go back and forth, so your Gengar will evolve, and then Gengar goes right back. <laughs> yeah, sending you a loot crate, yeah. <laughs> They've traveled so far. That's true. Haunter, gas Pokemon. It likes to lurk in the dark and tap shoulders with a gaseous hand. Its touch causes endless shuddering. <laughs> what? Haunter is evolving! Kabam! Congratulations! Your Haunter evolved into... Gengar. Gengar. Shadow Pokemon. To steal the life of its target, it slips into the prey shadow and silently waits for an opportunity. There you go! Gengar is fully evolved. Guess we'll have to do this uh, again once the uh, uh, DLC comes out and has Alakazam in it. <laughs> but I know we'll be doing this again pretty soon for the um, for the uh, armor robe. So, but yeah, no problem. Always glad to help out. It's a really simple, it's, it's a simple enough thing to do to be able to trade and uh, do the level up things. Why did they remove a linking cable? It was a great item. <laughs> that honestly, maybe that should just be a thing, but I mean the the only point of the linking cable was because trading was just Well actually no trading was a thing. Yeah, because this thing shoot up as rockets. I don't know. I honestly don't know the point. Why why introduce the linking cable in uh, Arceus? If, um, if you're just going to remove it. I guess they figured Arceus had a little bit less emphasis than the normal Pokemon games on trading and doing all that stuff. I don't know. It's, it's really weird. I guess they, they maybe they put in the linking cable and just in case Arceus didn't sell well, maybe they put the linking cable and they made some of the other items work the way they did so you didn't have to worry about it. Just in case. I don't know. That's about as good of a guess as I'm gonna as I'm gonna be able to give. Ok. 
creature stuff runs on all fours. some other time. Oh, they're pretty cute. Let's see if I can buy armor. Um, there's always the chance. Yeah. Fallen? Okay, I kind of lost track here, sorry. I don't know if it'll allow you to, but... Went through the gates. Probably don't get too distracted. <laughs> I got stuck on a tree. version or if these are uh, these are version exclusive these are just what lay lay out the uh, lay out east rather than west uh oh I'm getting a phone call end game thanks Arvin Arvin now's not the time hey Osia so from what I can gather the stony cliff titan likes to lurk somewhere in this rocky area I had to look around but I couldn't find any trace of it maybe it's way up on a cliff or something nah that's impossible I don't think it'd be hiding somewhere that tricky. So don't go falling off any cliffs or anything trying to search it out somewhere too strange. Maybe just give your map app a look if you're feeling stumped. It's pretty handy. That's cool. But I'm following a professor. I check my map. Oh, okay. You're Darn cutscenes, you know. We. He's. I'll come back to that. No, give me gold on the sign. Yeah, biker gang. 
I'm <laughs> bumped into Shinx. I saw that. Having the uh, arm blades be on the arm if it's gonna transform into a uh, long spear sword thing. I want some Growlithe! I'm not going for anything too out of the way. Is, it, is that a Terra Raid or a... Uh, nah, it's a special Pokemon. Hmm, what Pokemon is that? Which kind of bird? Some flora statues. I'm going to get the thing now. I'll wait. <laughs> Fling. Leo. Big pig. Give me ghoul coin. I feel hilarious running alongside you and <laughs> grabbing all these items on the way. <laughs> At least they didn't make the, the overworld nice and open. Travel far and wide. Wait, I messed it up. Helps it. Levincia. Vincia. I'll say, this is probably the city where Iono is. I see there on the gym, it's like, yep, totally. 
for Coco Flex. Sprigatito. Area two of the east. What are those? Oh, it's right there. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm. I'll take a quick break. Taking a break. Quick break. Need a lot of And it's level twenty-five. Oh shit! Go Zumaro. Too much. Too much. Oh, well, damn. All right. I'll have, to use, I'll have to use something else next time. Shit. All right. I didn't get the Larvitar. Oh, damn. All right. Sorry. Oh, well. What is that thing? Uh, that's a rolly boy. Um. I think the game has to do some catching up to show us what's where. Watch for the Meowth. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let me catch this Larvitar. But it was too much. Oh my gosh, you got a cutscene. Cutscene! Who's calling me this time? Oh, it's Arvid again. Yo, Waltio! So, somewhere in one of the mines that that are around here. You should find the lurking Steel Titan. Rumor has it that that thing's staggeringly huge and real long. You'd think a Pokemon like that would be easy to spot. I wonder how it stays hidden. Maybe it's super fast? Oh, well, if that's the case, riding that Pokemon of yours might help you catch up. Thanks, Arvin. Can you make me a sandwich yet? Arvin! What's this elephant? Hey, watch out for the Mogohita! Traveling. Traveling some more. The Great Travel. Do kind of like what this Pokemon game is achieving as far as roaming around together. I think this is a natural evolution in the Pokemon series that needed to occur. What? How did it... That is the only problem I have with this. Sometimes you, you do get... Remind me to just put the zoom rail to the top of the line. I paid the price for grabbing a, a little shiny trinket on the ground. Something that didn't touch me touched me. Yeah, run it over. <laughs> run it over with your... With the mighty Mirai Dawn. <laughs> Professor used bulldoze. filled with so many, like, rock types. This is going to be really good. 
Those elephants are cute. I like them. I know my grandma would really like them too. She was a big fan of uh, elephants. She has countless statues around the house of them. I don't know what this appeared, but I want to like, oh, I'm gonna remind myself to try and catch that later on or something. What are these tumbleweed Pokemon? Sorry, just my my inner Captain Toad will prevent me from not picking up these these trinkets. Too shiny. Gotta get it. Glad I did. Firestone. Hey, uh, wait, Kogo, you're going to become a uh, Skeledurge a little early. I wanna, I'm going to just completely loot Lieutenant Surge, Koi Koko, into Skeledurge. <laughs> yeah, just take that Firestone! Level up, baby! Leap. Diggle dig. And we'll travel across the land, searching far and wide, dun, 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 each little item to pick up. Can game just make it disappear? No, okay, you just blended in very well. Yeah, there you is. Fancy a trade. Oh, oh, hello there, child. I'm a collector of curiosities and a great lover of bronze ore. I have an auspicious curio to offer. If you'll trade me ten bronze ore fragments for it. Ah, it seems you haven't got enough, child. Why don't you find some bronze ore to battle? You can acquire bronze ore fragments from them. Alright, let me check the map. I'm up here, traveled through these lands to get to here. Get the bronze ore guys in this spot. Cool. Good to know. Good to know. It wasn't meant to be. Still can't trade with them just because I'm around. Nah, no worries. Maybe I can... Where's Where are the bronze ore at? It might just vary what, the, what people are even here anyways. A malicious, uh, malicious named item in, in here. I should still be able to get you... The items. I don't know if I can trade you items exactly or directly. Too high level. Nonsense! Nonsense! They're like 40 or something. E okay, maybe they might be. I got a feeling I'll be able to beat stuff up. My team's already doing pretty good. They're already like practically in the 20s. So Applin's gonna need some work. My Pokemon might start disobeying me soon. <laughs> yeah, so it's gonna depend which which mountain. over here in area three. I think I got this. 
I don't want to hit the right buttons, though. Why is it showing a uh, particular Pokemon here? It's so weird. Okay, there do be some uh, bigger Pokemon here. And that one's tiny. Okay, I do have Pokeball, Poke, Poke Dolls with me, so something does not work. I have no idea what this type is. What? Buttons, 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 buttons. I just straight up just said, nope, I'm out. There's the Sneasel. I think these are some of the Pokemon that are not in my version. I don't know. Get astonished. You might be a fairy type. Yeah, totally. Actually, no, I didn't even say not effective. Yeah, this is just too great of a, of a task, unfortunately. Timer ball. More turns. I need to buy more Poké Dolls. The what? Why was there one behind me? I feel so betrayed by this game. You thought you could get away. <laughs> the Satana literally, literally appeared right behind me. Just teleported over. Alright, so, so Rule Edge looks pretty cool. There she go. Yeah, I guess you're right. They are just a tad too high level for me. I'm not that far off, but... Nice. For... So before the sneezles, like <laughs> an oddball spot. Towards the blue. It says this way, but I don't see anything. Oh well. Uh, I guess I can't adventure up that far. Probably am too far north for my own good. Poor Fuikoko, poor King Croc. Yeah, Pokemon need to heal. That's a good <laughs> Oh, wait, did I know? What, what? What did I know? I 
should be in that area. Well, the Sneasel wasn't up there. He's lying to me. He's pulling the prank on me. It's Queen City, though. Rocky Helmet. I think get to put on Amphi. Thank you for trying. Oh, I'm glad to try. It was kind of fun to just adventure out. I, that was kind of the whole point of this game anyway, is that you go anywhere, do anything, just about any time, you know? Fly back. Right, right. And we'll do that. I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I think I'll chose the, the players. Yeah, there's people in the area. Right, right. Massively overleveled. Do I just map it? I can always get the wrong button for the map. over here. Okay, you just fly here like this. You just select on the map. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah, what up, Han? It says the group has been disbanded. Aw. So if I fly, it disbanded. That's weird. Or maybe because you closed the thing down? I don't know. <laughs> it's not how this thing works. But hey, good playing with you. Happy adventuring. Thank you, sir. I will continue to adventure. I, I've already adventured a little bit harder than I, than I intended to. So, uh... My plan to, like, have at this a little bit in a more straightforward manner didn't exactly work out. But yeah. You get logged out. Fair enough, fair enough. You're getting some therapy on Monday? Good, good. Glad to hear that. I think sometimes we all need a little bit of therapy every now and again. I know I'm sure I could have maybe used some. It's a small live. Where am I going towards right now? I don't even recognize where I am. That is the town I'm supposed to be at. Um, it makes me look that way. I did not face this trainer. Let's be with this man. You take your time. I run. I run to gyms as fast as I can and disregard NPCs and weak Pokemon. Right, right. I I seem could just can't to, I just seem to I can't stop myself from interacting with all the NPCs, checking this out, checking that out. I mean I am playing this a bit more normally like I would like a normal Pokemon game, like I did in the past. So, hmm. Like uh, you have an actual therapist. How uh, fun? No, that is pretty fun. 
I say, good on that. You have an actual therapist, someone to talk to. That's a good thing. <laughs> People person friendly. I guess it is kind of reflective. Yeah. But anyways, glad you have a therapist. Glad you'll be able to visit that person on the upcoming Monday. It feels like a whole week away, though. It's like, oh yeah, it's already Tuesday. I'm like, I'm thinking, oh, that'll be soon. It's like, oh, actually, it's Tuesday. It was just Monday. Um, and, you know, you pay good attention to that person, though, right? Because um, you have every right to not go see that therapist anymore if you if you're if they're feeling a little bit leery if you feel a bit leery about a therapist you know but you know make sure that they are a good kind of person they seem to actually you know listen to what you're, you're talking about this they seem to jive very well with you then good but if they don't seem to be jiving very well with you it's completely okay to not see the therapist and what see that therapist and try to find a new one and all that just want to mention that because that's not like therapy is you go to you just go to somebody and that's that you know there's more to it than that so Finding, finding a therapist that's good for you or healthy for you and whatnot is is uh, is also very important. And he said, now you can stop being so mentally ill. <laughs> that's funny. But yeah, no, jokes aside, yes, just you can. All right, yes. Less mental illness, more mental healthness. Yes, 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 yes. Get that mental health. Yeah, make certain uh, they are a good, well, well driving with you person, and you're all set. But yeah, no, therapy can be very good. I've often considered maybe I need to talk to someone every now and again. And my friend Mag has had uh, Mr. McGee has had uh, gone to one for a while, until he didn't feel the need to go to one anymore. He's like, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm gonna save some money and not go to one for a little while. But if I'm feeling bad again, I'll go back. It's like. It's a very smart, responsible thing to do. Alba the Waitress. Pichu! Pichu! Speaking of overleveling... I better have him like beat this gym leader so I at least get a badge so all my Pokemon don't outgrow me. That's it, I'm closing up shop. Uh you know, the waifu might be good for this. Or the husbando. Bring out them psychic types. Uh, depending on what your moves are. Rock. No, it's ground that beats poison, right? Oh, it's still the tarantula. Never mind. Never mind, nothing to see here. Gimme ghoul. Got another coin. Alright. A small land bridge there. Give this a try. And all these hop ups. I'll never make it. Well, what do you know? I made it. What do you know? But I'm, I'm heading towards the right tower. Oops. Pokemon here are tad strong. Taruntala. I don't know what you are, but you're joining the team. Well, maybe not the team, but... Hatena. 
Does one of them become Smell Yoda or something? I don't even know anymore. I don't know things. Ugh, but it was super effective. You know, so you be a figure type? I don't even know anymore. Get in the Pokeball! There goes the lid. Hatena. Hatena. Calm Pokemon. Oh, it's psychic type. Ah, that's why. Or something else that was psychic type, but I didn't expect it to be psychic type. Because the emotions of others constantly flow into its head, this Pokemon prefers environments where no other creatures live. Hmm. Well, super small. It's only like a foot a foot high. A foot and four inches. It's like probably about as, as big as the doll here, basically. Maybe just a tiny bit bigger, like like very tiny. Corp, corp, corp! I actually bumped into the car. Oops. Corp, 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 corp. Yeah, I'm gonna bother with you. Oh, I need to buy more poke poke dolls. I'm stupid. Now it's alright. I'll just deal with it. Let this be a poke doll. <laughs> yeah! Called it! <laughs> what are you? Oh, you're level 32! Never mind, I just got this Poké doll! I didn't want to use it already! Why are you level 32? Grumpig. What is it typing? Zen head, Zen head zibot. Oh, his defenses are way too high. Oh, Zen head. Oof. Well, it's super effective the dark stuff. So. Oh, a hyper push. Do some move that isn't Zen Headbutt, please. Let me just keep biting you. No, not Psychic. Oh, it's probably Psychic type, isn't it? If its stats changed, what happened? Should I be scared? Should I be very scared? <laughs> Fight works. I can probably actually take a second Zen Headbutt. And then heal up again. No, not the Confuse Ray! I should probably put Confuse Ray on, uh, Ampharos. Hey, go ahead, try and hit me. Oh, you hit me? Take damage. And take static. Oh, shoot. I can probably take one more Zen Headbutt and a, uh... King Cross stat. Okay, so you copied my stat. Arg. Okay. Now I probably can't take it. Um. If you turns off just heal. Confusion can't last forever, so that's like that's like the one benefit. Yeah, you're already confused, so maybe we can take a few turns off. Just to heal up. Catch this completely over level grumpig. Ah! Uh. Why is this pig so grumpy? Yeah, he stepped out of confusion. Confused. 
back into the confusion. Right back. Right back where we started. Ah, shucks. There's all these wild dogs around, too. All right. Pokeball. Go! Please work. Please work. Fudge. Why? Did you... I'm waiting for now to use that. I can't wait for Ampharos to learn, or Flappy and Ampharos to learn uh, Power Gem. That'll be cool. Power Gem plus something else. Cut. You caught a Hatena this morning with the, with the hidden ability, and you needed that. Nice! It's getting pretty friendly with you on the RNG, hasn't it? Uh, it just loses to that. To the Zen Headbutt. Can just affect how easy it is to catch Pokemon of various levels. Huh. I should hurry up and get this, this gym challenge done. Thank, thank goodness it used Confuse Ray. Or that just means better time with higher levels. Makes sense to me. Man, do I kind of want to change up uh, Flappy's moves here. Like, this needs to be either Confuse Ray or Power Gem. But all right, try a great ball. This ball is so great! All right, man, have a good one. Thanks for stopping by. Wheel, and hope to see you again real soon. Yeah, copy these stats. You just copied the stat changes. Oh. A few more turns with Pokeball, then I'll just use Timer Ball because I went so many rounds. Okay, there we go. Woo! Poor Pokemon. King Croc's gonna be so behind. Slash. Slash is pretty good. Much better. Yeah, 70, 100. Heightened chance of light, light. Yep. Yep, this should be Slash. Just outright forget. Forget Tackle. Or forget Scratch. Slash it up. And then if I can make Switcheroo be a different different thing, I think Trudel will be okay. One. Two. And double base stands are a thing. And they're not what you expect. Okay. Sounds interesting. There we go. Grumpig. Manipulate Pokemon. So it is psychic type. That's why. It looks like a dark type or something. There's nothing psychic about it. But hey, whatever. It can perform odd dance steps. It can perform odd dance steps to influence foes. Its style of dancing became hugely popular overseas. Hmm. Uh, no. Check your summary, but I, I know, like, you're going to be too powerful for the team. Like, you'll, you won't listen to anything, and... Power Gems can move, though. <laughs> but you're... <laughs> you're... You're, um... Um... Your nature is completely wrong. Even I can tell, like, that plus attack on the nature is like... Argh. If you could just, if you would, this this would be the creature that would want to trade away attack to put either into the speed, defense, or special attack. Probably the defense, maybe, but that's just me. It's okay. Go to the box. Go to the box. Well, it was fun catching you for the experience points. 
It's comically small in comparison to the instrument. It's essentially a small bottomless crate. <laughs> The battle. Get poison thing. Okay, that's it. Anyway. Jeez, okay. you want, but it failed. Ha! <laughs> oh, how do you picture a flute stand? Uh... Don't know. I really honestly don't know. Yes, it is. It is absolutely just a flamingo. It is a flamingo that is a flying and a fighting type. It is It is a weird bird. It is a very weird bird. And there is nothing to it that really makes it stand out from being a, a flamingo. It is literally a flamingo minus the N in its name. It is called flamigo, as in like the word amigo for friend. So, yeah, it's... <laughs> you, you, are, you are not hallucinating. You are not seeing anything wrong. It is... It is just that simplistic of a Pokemon. It's actually very similar to a trumpet stand. Not that I expect you to have ever used one. Uh, I, I, I have not. I don't think I ever have used a trumpet stand. No, I should probably look these things up. Yeah, hmm. Now I think about it. I really did, no. Okay. You heal up. I'll also get some healing. Nah, just take a second. Let me get that full. And, um... Adventure... There's so many dogs around here. I'm just gonna put Flamingo in in case they all try to like. They all try to, they all try to bother me. It seems like it's exactly what they were doing. Nest ball. I'm gonna try to make a, a description. Both look like swivel chairs. If you took away the wheels and chair. Leaving a star shaped thing to rest on the floor and a spike pointing upwards. I get it, so that way it's, it's something that helps hold your instrument in place while you're playing. So you can give your arms some relief. Right? I've completely gone off the beaten path here. Actually, no. Oh, then what does it do? Is it, is it to just. Help it uh, be on display. Ultra Ball. Nice. What is this? Hmm. Instrument fans are. So you put it when you're not playing, so you don't get saliva all over your lap. Ah, I see. Haha, you are playing with computer. I'm about to re refill my hydration sauce. It's a snake. Need it. That 
you just gave me an ice type teammate? On a fire Terra. Silly Cobra. It's a silly Cobra! I'm still catching this. Why do I have so many? Isn't like, what, second fire type in Terra? Pretty low level then. Don't you put my uh winning in between these right now slime. Yeah, no, I get you, yeah, that would I understand, yeah, that would be pretty gross, but I don't I didn't have that problem too much with a trumpet, but I guess there were times where I was using the spit valve in between in between pieces and doing just for that, yeah. Or we have like we have to rest for eight whole bars, and you're just like dump this out real quick. Place on the stand. The end face is down. Spell the trumpet. All oh, right, right. And you don't have to hold it. Not sure if you're meant to do that in orchestra. I think you're meant to. Um, Stay in rest position, right? To be honest, I have no idea what my rest position is. Huh? Is that a ground type? Hmm. Yep. Silly Cobra. Zilla Cobra, Sand Snake Pokemon. Zilla Cobra's neck pouch, which can inflate and deflate like a balloon, gets more elastic each time Zilla Cobra sheds its skin. Hmm. Yes. What you got with your weird terra type ground fire transition? Bulldoze, brutal swing, headbutt, and coil. Hmm, where's the poison move? This only thing is bulldoze. Bulldoze is pretty decent. Uh, so you're more of a physical attacker. Makes sense. I like your move set. Sounds pretty good. Speed is low, but good physical defense. Like, totally applicable. I feel like I'm gonna put it over this poison type. The sure did just learn some interesting stuff, but you know your terror type. So the cover has been something else. I'd rather it be like a different thing. If you had like. A poison Terra type to match that move set. But uh, let's see if I can. Can I teach it a move? I don't even have much of a fire move, anyways, huh? Applin cannot learn anything. Summary. Uh. Where's your old moves? Does Applin have limbs? N no, it does not. Unfortunately, I cannot rotate it to help you find out. But uh, I think it does not. You, I caught you because you also had a fire terror type. Besides being grass dragon, I can't teach you any fire moves yet. Withdrawal. 
boost a defense stat, though. What if I do like all fire there <laughs> type team? Hold up. Change my mind. Life finds a way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I'm trying to do member moves. Minimize an attack and a ramp. Let's close up and concentrate. This boosts its attack and defense stats as well as its accuracy. Hey, you're more of a physical attacker and a defender. Why, why is that a poison move? Brutal swing will hurt teammates, okay. It can also hurt any of their Pokemon all at once. Treat everything around it by stomping down the ground. It's got a very good move set. I mean, I think it doesn't have a proper poison move to help it take care of the fairy types, but it's not bad. I don't have a proper physical poison move to teach it. If I could, if I could teach it, like the poison fang, that'd be good. Maybe if I could craft it. I probably don't have that TM though to craft. Maybe give it one fire attack so it's terra type matters. <laughs> Can I actually use it for interesting? Give that once. <laughs> I can't learn Metal Claw because it doesn't have claws. much for right now. Okay, uh, with that being said, I'll still try and train it up. Let me give it the experience points, though. Take four of these. Take two of these. And, uh, certainly an interesting Pokemon app, but like it's a snake, I kind of just want to auto have it on my team. Applin being a dragon makes me want to keep it around. But Coco, so if I find any more lizards I don't have, <laughs> uh. Even Azumarill and Ampharos might find their way out. Or Flamigo. I don't know who will leave first, but this Flaffy's not the strongest Flaffy I've ever had. But, uh, yeah. It ain't looking good for them if I find more lizards. If I find more lizards, it's no bueno for them. Where am I headed? I have to go down here to go up there? I'll do it, and then uh, I have to head the other way. So I'm Cause still head in the wrong direction. Still haven't taken care of even the first gym, and I'm over. I'm almost. I'm eight minutes away from four hours in to this stream part three. Still haven't done a gym or an Arvin thing or anything. I am so good at Pokemon. I am great at Pokemon. I am the absolute best <laughs> at dirtling around in a Pokemon game. Oh my God! It's Houndour. Oh yes, yes. You, you are the chosen Houndour. Do not fail me. You're only level 18. Hmm. I think you'll be fine. May I challenge you in that? <laughs> I think you certainly may. No, you died. You were the chosen one. Okay, fl Flamingo, too strong. Uh, I have to swap in. Let's not do Apple. That would be bad. You are the tiniest Houndour. That's super effective. It'll just kill it. All right, never mind. Um, 
Rollout might be too much more, but I'm gonna say, fuck it, we're gonna go for it. A snake would also work, though. Snake is actually still still in a good position because it, it's a ground type that means fire. So, yeah. It does have a limb. It has a tail. Did it just roar and force itself to leave? Did it I forgot the change one. I was wrong. It does have one... It does kind of have one limb. Applin has a tail. Look at that. Look at that little tail. And it's even got, like, little... Two little, like, black little... Beeps. Like, coming right out of it. Huh. Train of Hound Hour, but I probably won't. I'm just gonna capture it, I guess. I'm not use it. You mean you avoided the? Fine. <sighs> yeah, let's go. You're an even tinier Hound Hour. We'll see if this kills it or not. Yeah, please keep using Howl and not Roar. I really appreciate that. Oh, perfect! Pokeball, please capture this dog. Uno, dos, tres. Whoosh. Dark Pokemon. It is smart enough to hunt in packs. It uses a variety of cries for communicating with others. Ugh. No. It's your summary. I do come and add you to party. How small roar and bite. Got a minus defense up special defense. Gentle. He's in speed. More of a special attacker. And you've got all physical moves right now. Except for smog. Using the power of his own fire type. So you don't even have any fire type moves right now. I need a box. I would like to add you to the team so my team can just be can just be oops all fire. <laughs> But, eh, I'll hold off. Now I just need to take care of Hound Doom. But hey, finally got some Hound Hours. That's kind of nice. I'm gonna go collect that stuff. But... Oh, the pathway leads up here? Cool. Collected. Collect, collect. Toxels and uh, Azumarils. I was more so, but Merrills. Merrill! Around here. Dunsparce, get out of here. Get out of here, Dunsparce. Hi there, Dunsparce. Hey, get out of here, partner. Um, I think the 
Let me go back up to that top of the list. A pond dewberries. Hey. You're the tadpole frog thing. You be yeah, tadball. Yeah, because you're electric type, so you have to keep up on Flumbigo very well. Perfect. Yeah, charge up all you want. Are there Eevees over there? That is a field of Eevees. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go capture those! <laughs> You have to go to the restroom, but there's a flock of Eevees over there. A whole grouping. Pokemon are not leveling up very quickly anymore, but that's alright. I'm having a grand old time capturing all these things. Tadbulb. Ella Tadpole Pokemon. Tadbulb shakes its tail to generate electricity. If it senses danger, it will make its head blink on and off to alert its allies. Tan Bob. Um, I can't remember what its evolved form is called. Jolto. <laughs> it's going really on the nose with these namings. What's your summary? Mud slap, thunder shock, water gun, and charge. Not bad, actually. Pretty decent. Hmm. You don't have a great nature, though. You want to reduce your attack. It's got a lonely nature, but hey, you're the first one to do so. Welcome to the box. There you go. What? Riolu! I pretty much stepped on you there. What are you doing? What are you doing, Riolu? Silly. Why is it super? Because it, oh yeah, that's right, it's fighting steel, so, fighting, it's fighting, it's fighting half, can't beat the flying half. Yes, Aqua Tail! Yes, please, finally, Aqua Tail. Like, Aqua Tail is, oh, it only has accuracy 90, but it's power 90 on a physical that, you're not that much of a, uh, physical attacker anymore. Oh, no! So it would make more sense to give you a different special attack that was actually way outpacing your attack. It's an okay attack, but... <sighs> You're actually good for your... Your namesake, it's a namesake move for you. Damn, alright. Okay, no, these are his dearlings, no Eevees. My bad. Another coin. Poison Elec types. Oh, you're that dog. Like, what are you? Like, you're a dog. Okay, Arvin's probably gonna call me because we got a cave here. Oh, there's a 
random sable eye. Perfectly. Something's different if you're in a cave. Yep, almost had it. But it failed. Now, not battle. Pokeball. Guitar, you get in the great ball, put you in the nest ball or the, the, heel, the heel ball. That's what you wanted. Knew it. Sableye, darkness Pokemon. It dwells in the darkness of caves. It uses its sharp claws to dig up gems to nourish itself. Nope. Dark ghost. are really effective against fighting types. Ooh. There's an ominous black stake driven into the ground. We pull out the stake. When you pulled out the stake, it crumbled and vanished. Hopefully it'll respawn after a little while. Didn't expect that. Oh, I never touched this Pokemon. You crazy. That's good to kick. Get over here, you. Oh, it's gonna kill it. Oops. Because I should just not pulling attack. My bad. Glad you're still around, oh, but you'll never become a. Uh, you'll never become the other one. Yeah, salazzles are females only. Ah, that's all right. Because the whole game is sounded. I'm good. I'm good for it. We're good for it. Too powerful for you. Alright, I gotta swap away from Flamigo. 
Flamingo Amigo. Damn it, both a Salandit and a, uh, and a Gibble. There's another one. Okay, I got, a, I got a second chance. Please be famous so you can become... Still male, huh? Let's see if Bulldoze does too much to it. Where the ground doesn't get poisoned. It might, it might be it might be quad weak. Yeah, it's quad weak, it's not like bulldoze. Because of being poisoned. Poison fire. I just salad it up here though, so eventually I can bump into a female one so I can have a salazzle. Just get the uh, stab on this. I got touched by poison mold. The six demon for poison. Huh. Headbutt it. Of course it did. Is it half day? It says it is. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm only going to be doing half the day worth of, of um, Pokemon. So probably within within an hour, maybe just a tiny bit over an hour, I'm going to stop, swap over to Magic, do that for a little while. I could even technically stop sooner, but at least I'm trying to get this one gym in before I go. But I really well, that took a while for Shed Skin to kick in. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that took way too long for Shed Skin. So, yeah. it's not a half day because I'm gonna work. It's a half day because I am off, and I'm just going to stream a different game afterwards. Two. Any way for me to tell like which one? That's a really tiny sound it off the last one. Eh, just headbutt it. Can can sheds get activated already? Ball's perfect for right now. Makuhita, no! Makuhita, no! Makuhita, be gone. Shh, shh. Salandit. Toxic lizard Pokemon. It taunts its prey and lures them into narrow, rocky areas where it then sprays them with toxic gas to make them dizzy and take them down. It's so cute! Uh. Not really. I, I like their names. What's your summary? Poison Fire, Terra of Fire. Right now you have. Smog. You've got a bashful nature, so you've got no changes to your thing. Pretty good stats. Looking pretty good. If anybody can give you acid spray or poison gas, it might work. Alrighty, I'm liking this. Pretty good. Joining the party. Uh. We got a fire croc. <laughs> that one really hasn't been doing anything. Let's 
So I'll leave it like that. Nope. Gonna run. He couldn't get away. Couldn't get away. Get bulldozed. And that was a crit, wow. Malgahita's just cheering me on, I'm like, yeah! Beat that thing up. Antidote. I'm like, what am I looking for here? An antidote. Female Salandit. So it's from the Salazzle. Half day, but not half day. Because I made it. Yeah, true, true, you, you did. No, not exactly a half day, a different kind of half day. Maybe I should have changed it to like half-ish day. Half-ish day might have been pretty good. But you know what? You're right on time. I'm like, oh, I'm ready. I'm jonesing for a bathroom break. And then so here comes Sylveon. Right when I'm close to exploding. So <laughs> Sylveon. Roughly 4 p.m.-ish. I might end a bit before 4 p.m. and swap over. But, uh... Yeah, okay, so... Get bulldozed. type of sound that I need to evolve into a Salazzle for the lizard team is coming along quite nicely. Ooh. Mudshot. What is it's a special? What's the burning qu- Oh, <gasps> T-Tar. Is the Azumarill Sap Sipper or Huge Power? Hmm, I'll have to take a look. I honestly don't know. Uh, well, this won't kill it. Because it's, what, Rock Dark is what it becomes? It might just be Rock for now. Huge power to beat better. Right. I recall you saying that huge power and like the like comes from the main things that Azumarill is known for. Like in a competitive sense. Azumarills can be competitive, but they need like they do the huge power and all that kind of stuff. Um, which of course works differently in the actual Pokemon games than it does in Unite, so. I don't think it has the huge power. But I remember you saying that it should. Huge power double with your Pokemon base attack stat. Oh my gosh, yeah, that is really good. <laughs> I don't think it has that, unfortunately. Just from the way it, it, it doesn't have the best nature either, <laughs> so it's like, it's not where you'd want an Azumarill to be. All right, get in the Pokeball. It kind of looks like you could make the team. No paybacks, paybacks are bad. If I heal you, do you promise to behave? Nope. Don't make me use the Ultra Ball. Screw it, get the Ultra Ball. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Get in there! Get in there! Get in there! Oh, this thing is angry. Right, we'll do this thing and then the headbutt that's not effective, which hopefully will not kill it. So we're gonna capture this thing. Hmm. 
effective. Don't kill it. Kind of puts like one. Now Cortex flinched. Get the basic ass Pokeball now. True, I can. That would be a good idea. This thing's gonna be a, a pain in the butt. And that was a crit, too, so I don't want to say. I won't be able to attack it again, but it's not gonna heal, so it won't matter. Yeah. Good call on that. I kinda, I kinda forget about, like, using stat things like that. Do it one more time. And I'll apply some healing with just a regular old potion. got arrested on suspicion of throwing an egg in the general direction of the king. <laughs> well, it was a tad rude. I mean, it is the king after all, but man. There's much more about stat changes, especially since there are not many good ones available. Right. Sword stance and calm line both later in the game. <laughs> Indeed, yeah. It's like, I'm just gonna egg the king. Hey, King, you got egg on your face! Whoops. Hey, what the bobbies for? What are the bobbies for? What are the, what are the bobbies? What are the bobbies? Alright. If this doesn't work, I'm just going to Dust Ball. Get Dust. You're in a cave. None can resist. None. You're afraid to be good. None can resist. Good. Thank you. You sure we're still not playing gold silver? <laughs> Might as well be, right? Rock ground. So let's rock down all the way through, fine. Because that catch rate seems to be right. Larvitar. Rock skinned Pokemon. Born deep underground, this Pokemon becomes a pupa after eating enough dirt to make a mountain. That's a lot of dirt. Larvitar! Hmm. Yes. What's your stats? Ground Terra, Payback, Bite, Scary Face, Rock Slide. Well, it has a uneffective nature. Ineffective nature. It's so gutsy that having a status condition boosts the Pokemon's attack stat. That's, that's pretty good, actually. Huh. Not bad stats. Give me a second. Guts. Um. Party. You're kind of got the actual snake ground types. I know Lover. T I know T Tar is a typical go-to for competitive. So I'll just stick as this for now. Sandstream on evolution. Oh. Let's see. Um, still in online mode. <laughs> Not that it matters. Thick fat. Pokemon is protected by a layer of thick fat, which has the damage taken from fire and ice type moves. I mean, I guess that makes it good for reducing the damage of ice type, but... Fire is already pointless. Not the best ability. 
But yeah, this this thing also has the timid nature of reducing its attack. Kind of mid. Yeah. Different ability would be kind of nice on it. Yeah, it has the attack lowering nature. Like, if it at least had a different nature, it would probably still be pretty decent. But it, it's the reduction of attack, like... I don't know what I'd rather reduce on it, though. Maybe reduce HP to up its speed? Seems fine, but I don't Yeah, it's kind of... Mm. Catch another one? <laughs> yeah, maybe I should. I'm probably just going to go through the game with it, though. With my random-ass special attacker. Don't touch me with Ice Bro. Which no one's really going to do anyways. That's right. If I, can just, if I can just get me, like, a water lizard... A water reptile Pokemon. That isn't Choodle or Dreadnought. I think it would be good. What is Sableye? It's like, what is going on over there? No, it's just a Sableye that looks weird against the wall. Okay. But I am not going to be homeless anymore, so I am hitting up this restroom real quick. I don't think those things are going to go after me. I'm curious what this little mushroom is. I have to know. I have to know. What the hell are you? Knackly. You look like a rock type. And it critted. I think it's got high defense. Uh, button. Does ball probably not need it? I would well look for something that is jolly or adamant because it produces special attack. And of course, you want it to have huge power. Another thumbnail. What kind of style should you go for? Um, hmm. I, I don't know. Maybe something similar. Something a little bit more like. Perhaps, perhaps the way you, the, you did your, your your inkling redrawing the other day, like that style with that like coloration and some of those like shade lines, those single shade shade lines might be the way to go. Um, I don't know what kind of style you'd call that. That or something similar coloring to use for no, some of the normal like the, the the normal ranked battle thumbnail. The way the way my inkling is drawn there might also be a good option, but not as comic. You don't have to use much of the comic book dot matrixy stuff. Line art heavy with cross hatching? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's right. What's NACL again? Oh, so it's a it's a it's a salt rock Pokemon. And it even says now. Nackly. Rock salt Pokemon. It was born in a layer of rock salt deep under the earth. This species was particularly treasured in the old days, as they would share precious salt. And I see it was a knackle. Oh, uh, yes, you get a nickname. Deporio is trying to check your summary. Oh. So how about the colors? Um, keeping the color spectrum where it was, where you already had some of the um the concept art, the way that color scheme was going was looking pretty good. Hey, a Murkrow. that walks right up to him just whoop it in the back back of the head here it goes so or is Merkur dark Merkur's dark yeah yeah that's right uh and you're level 16 so Flamingo would be too strong right now it is yeah, so like you know it's flying so I'm like I keep confusing it for a ghost because it's Gen 2 stuff. It's like, oh yeah. Um, coil up, then I can just headbutt it. I wonder what's 
behind that tree. Something's asleep over there. Probably just a deerling or something. Um... I'm catching way too much Pokemon. <laughs> and I'm running out of time to actually just complete the fir a first gym of the game. Just something, anything. Just let me complete some sort of something. At this rate, I will never get to <laughs> get that Charizard in time. Especially if I'm only playing this, like, on stream, so... Maybe I could coil again, but... Ooh! Okay, one more Brutal Swing should bring it down to just a minute. So now it's getting pretty hard to hit. No, okay. Hey, it's just a stat chunk, but I'm... Perfect. Cool. Any hit now will kill it, so... Get the Pokeball! Number 12! Oh, okay, it can just crit catch. Just caught! Gotcha! Gotcha! Murkrow, darkness Pokemon. Feared and loathed by many, it is believed to bring misfortune to all those who see it at night. No. Awesome. I like how this Pokedex layout works. Okay, yeah, that's a Deerling. I'm like, what is that? No, definitely Deerling. Shiny. Some more. Just looking for a nice little spot to just, you know, rest and make sure these random dogs won't just bump into me while I go refill all my hydration sauce and stuff. Paul McBerry. Over, over here by the tree will probably work. Misty Terrain. And it does what for dragon moves? Halves or double? Probably boost dragon moves. Halves damage from dragon type moves. Okay, huh. Interesting. I really wanted to use Applin, though, but... Oh, well. So, I'm gonna stop here for a second. I'm gonna use the restroom. I like this team. If I find one more... If I find one more lizard, though, I have no idea what I'm gonna throw on the team. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna change things out. Appleton. I want, I want this Applin to work, but the Applin I caught has a fire Terra type. I was just like, oh, Grass Dragon. This is pretty interesting. This is cool. But yeah, it, uh, it has a fire Terra type. Hmm. Interesting. And so far, I like its current move pools. Man, I don't know when it learns and yeah, just, yeah, just mess around with other Pokemon. So, all right, let me get this done. I'm going to refresh some water. Maybe eat, eat lunch soon. I uh, hope you guys get some, go get some snacks, get some beverages, and see you in just a moment.
Wow, that sounds absolutely nutty. Terra type grass, Palisand with Giga Drain. That sounds like you uh, really th gonna be throwing some curveballs there with that. That's that's pretty good sound. Right, I'm gonna waste a tiny bit more time looking for a female Salandit so I can get Salazzle. Not that impressive, huh? Dr. Willy! Terra type ground redacted spoiler. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Headbutt it. Ah, poison. Gibble, do me a favor. Just get in the ball. Can some more if you want. This is in the employee handbook. <laughs> well, okay, huh? <laughs> cool. You actually got in the ball. Thank you, Gibble. Gibble, land shark Pokemon. It skulks in caves, and when prey or an enemy passes by, it leaps out and chomps them. The force of its attack sometimes chips its teeth. Oh, that sounds dreadful. Gibble. Nope. You're a dragon type, you're pretty cool, but. We'll check your summary. I'm curious. You are a. Uh... Minus defense, of special defense. You'd be the type that would want to lower your special attack and give yourself speed. The gentle nature. Go to the box. Then an uh, example artwork, right? Uh, gosh, have you just been demotivated from playing Splatoon 3? Jolly nature? I might have. Let me see here. I wouldn't say demotivated. I was playing actually some of it last night. And I was like, alright, that went fine. And then I kind of moved over to Unite around the time we timely time I was gonna supposed to play it weekly with the group but um no I have I, I will say I have not been playing as much Splatoon 3 as you would expect I'm not demotivated from playing it but I'm not exactly motivated to play it you know what I mean I'm, I'm kind of just like okay I played some Splatoon like in the past I'm just like playing and playing and playing and now it's like Splatoon 3's out and I'm like and I I'm just not going i'm not gravitating towards it as strongly as you'd expect concerning how often i starting off in this channel i played a lot of splatoon a lot of splatoon too i almost played it like once a week or once every other week you know i'm just saying you know and like a lot today so i've been i was playing at least once a week if not every other week and doing the full thing of ranked a full day of ranked and i yeah i haven't really done anything close to that with splatoon 3 so far but uh we I will be playing, Toon and I will be streaming Big Run this upcoming uh, Sunday, so we'll, Splatoon 3 will get a stream soon, but yeah, I've not been playing it as much as you'd expect. But alright. You really am? You get more enjoyment from Fortnite. Understandable. No, I didn't say jolly, that's right, gentle, it had gentle. Let's say dog nature, that's for the speed. So, but yeah, you are demotivated from Splatoon 3. You're just like, eh, I played it, but I'm like, you're like, eh. And yeah, there will there will be a big run, but let's see. I have to hit the R button for a thing. Yeah, it has a gentle nature. 
not that it's showing, but I, I recall that it said gentle. And so the jolly nature gives the description I mentioned for plus speed minus minus S, SP attack. Okay, cool. Well, thank you, thank you for that information. But hey, as long as you, if you've been enjoying Fortnite, it's your it's your go-to thing. You've been enjoying the heck out of it. More power to you. Keep enjoying it. Yeah, I know the game kind of got memed on a bit for a while, but it's like now it's just kind of like any other game. So, so maybe it's because of the new season that just released, or maybe because more of my friends play it than Splatoon. That could be a very well good deciding factor. You have more friends to play with in on this game than that game. Why would you play that game when you can play this game where your friends are? It makes complete sense. Yeah. So. But as long as you're getting to play with your friends a lot and you're enjoying it, good, good on good. So yeah, Sil uh, Sylveon, the big run this upcoming Sunday. I know I know the big run's happening all weekend, but I am off on Sunday. And Toon's like, let's stream big run. Because he's like, we're either going to have to do it like, you know, as soon as it starts on Friday or Sunday. And I'm like, well, hey, I'm off Sunday. Let's do it then. I'll probably be playing it plenty throughout the Friday and, sa and Saturday as well. Saturday morning, Saturday and end. But we will be streaming it, definitely. You'll probably be able to tune in one and everybody and whatnot as well. So, yeah, join us on Sunday. There'll, there'll be room. But we'll be glad to swap some people in for some playing Big Run with people and whatnot. Even though we'll probably have been grinding it all weekend leading up to Sunday. But, hey, whatever. I'm looking forward. It's going to be fun. Bro, hit you up. You're going to have to send me a message at some point, you know. Um, but if I can, I'll rem remind you of the numbers because I can't can't send a uh, request, can't send anything, so if you need to know my thing, my Discord thing is literally hashtag 2498. Then you can hit me up there, and then we'll figure out how to get you into rotating into stuff on it for that day, so. You hit me up, because I can literally not, not hit you up. You have settings on that say, that say, uh, this person says no! Do not! It's like, oh, okay, okay, Discord. Okay. What would you say? They have anime girls in Fortnite now. So remember, hashtag 2498. You know what? I did see something that, yeah, looked a little bit more VTuber-like. If Fortnite has its usual style of, like, character avatar, there's something way more associated in anime than even, even by compared to Fortnite's typical standards, it was even more anime-looking. So I know what you mean. I did see that and I was like, huh. Interesting. Uh I guess I guess Hunters are mostly. Right, right. Cool. That one will be able to get you into places. Maybe we'll get you into the uh, the groups again. So if you want a group request for landers or other server, let me know. Well, yeah, but yeah, we'll def now we can definitely get you to rotate in and all that for Big Run. It'd be great to coordinate with you. Get you on mic to roast everybody. That's always a lot of fun. So... You're the wrong type. Why are you fairy type? You're like a fire type. You just roast everybody. <laughs> but anyways, thanks again. I'm making analogies now between like psychic and fairy type, and I'm like, yeah, it's Professor's Apprentice. But all right. There's one more Fortnite skin for fine and dandy, and then there's the Orin skin. I love that skin and the other anime skins. But Orin. You heart. You heart the most. You run the orange skin on your uh, on your character then? On your avatar? On your player model? Where are the lizards? Where are the lizards? Alright, let me not fall down here. That would be kind of nice. Oh, I could fall down actually if I wanted to. Cool. Never mind, I'll fall down. I'll go fight that water Pokemon. There's another Larvitar following me around. I got a, don't got a lot of time left. I need to get... Are you the one who ordered a pizza be to be delivered out here? 
No, but I'll take your pizza. Ahmed. What are my cousin's names? Oh no, the Zipanapur. Level 18, so they're kind of on equal terms. Right, so I do want to change the moves up for Amber Girls, but I'll wait. healing. We're swapping you out. We're beating up a bird. Goodbye, bird. Never answered the thing about... Glad you avoided that. Uh, one question about the artwork took too long to answer. Yes, please keep avoiding it. Taking a break for lunch. Wish the German was there. Quite read all of a book written in archaic 19th century German. Uber Immanuel Kant. Ah, it's it's Mr. Kant again, huh? Also, I still haven't gone towards that gym challenge, and I just went through this cave, and I'm like, oh, Salandits and all, Gibble and Titar. Finally caught the law of Ritar. I'm like, man, I need this female Salandit. I need a Salazzle. But yeah, get some lunch. You having a good lunch? Man, I'm looking forward to dinner tomorrow. song, huh? Then I am. I can't swim. It's the original biography by Borowski. Borowski. Nice. That's pretty cool. Quillfish. Terra-typed Dragonair? I don't have any ice moves. I don't even have any fairy moves. Yoo-hoo! Get over this way! Over here, Dragonair! Get your Derriere over here! Derriere in air! So I realize I probably shouldn't have spent so much time on Japanese. <laughs> but, but, hey! Just both, both Pokemon both, Pokemon. Both Japanese and German. Por que no los dos? Alright. That's good. Yeah, over here. This way. This way. Right over here. That's awesome. Yes, perfect. Oh, it's not going to show up over here, is it? Okay, so my favorite con scholars are Japanese. You did some most, mostly reading today. You do what you gotta do, right? doctor has got a point. <laughs> At least you can speak something other than English. I can't. I'm just like, ha! Huh, I'm, uh... I speak English. That's what I do. Alright, Dragonair, please... Come on, head over this way. Come on, you got this. It doesn't got this. What an absolute travesty. Big shiny dragon air just doesn't want to head over this way. 
I'm gonna take it out on you, bird. You're gonna, you're gonna join the box. Oh, best colors are for British. He's at Yale now, though. <laughs> Not very effective. Oh, it's not gonna be very effective. Keep wing attacking each other. Alright, you're not doing the box then, Wingle. You know, it's not gonna bother. Goldfishes and everything. What am I looking at? What is this? Oh, it's a sign. <laughs> Pardon me. It's going further east. Rare bone. For psychic, I have completely gone off the path. <laughs> it's a great section where he shows how unrivaled moral principles do not necessarily invalidate the ability to show preference to individuals. Great section. Universal moral principles do not necessarily invalidate the ability to show preferences. To Oh, huh, right, okay, now I get it, I get it. Took me a while to wrap myself on that one, but... What is that yellow bird? These are all water-type Pokemon. I don't kick your butt some other time. I'm trying to stick to this thing right now. And get back to that cave later and catch a female salad so I can have Salazzle! Zinc! What in the heck are you? You're the evolved form of Toxel, aren't you? Game what? Forty-three, huh? I ain't supposed to be here yet. I can't even get up there right now, anyways. Focus blast.
I'm beneath ground for the city. Forty. There's an outbreak too, but they're all level forty. Well, so much for that. Wait, why are you blue and all the other ones were yellow? Wait, why were some of them yellow but then not? What's the difference between if it's yellow or blue? Oh, different evolution, right? Middle evolution, final evolution? Because that one has double spine, single spine. Uh, okay, I figured it out. I have brain. No lazy candy refinement. Manual all the way. Yeah, that sounds like Professor. Some random torch. I think it's take like the long way around. It's like suddenly everyone's like level 40! Future paradox. Thank you so much. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is nice. This mosaic tile. That's awesome. Okay, that's pretty cool. You know what? Really, really good job there, Game Freak. Thank you for doing that. Second Focus Blast. I didn't even learn Focus Blast. Uh, okay, hit this button, go to bag. You can learn it. but pretty low accuracy. Very low. Poison 30, 40. Hmm. So 
He has a thing of this. 70 versus... What is even the point then? Worry about that later. Now get a pure gold. Tell me about the, the task at hand. Upwards of level 30. So you're supposed to beat this person, then go through that deep, dark cave that has level 40s. Emotional Spectrum Factors. Created by Tula herself. Okay. Stairs right next door. I see. You came here as your last stop. Fair enough. I wasn't going to do this right now, anyways, because I'm like, uh, considering the levels of what's around it, even though my dudes are in the 20s, it's like, yes, yeah, going to have to wait. To evolve into. It looks almost metallic. Well, that ran at me fast. I didn't expect that. It's Pathra? Huh. Right, let me go back down to it and get some more Poké Dolls and stuff. An almighty beatdown for being a disgrace to the type. Pathra. Menace. Absolutely. That was menacing as heck. It's just like, huh? Whoosh! It literally just dashed in my direction as furiously as possible. This gave a move to sound it, and I feel like I shouldn't have. <laughs> I can always craft it again, so I'm not hungry. I'll just recraft an Aston Spray. I don't think it can be on the team for now. But it's a male, so it, it, it's only the females evolve. So it's kind of like, uh If you use a stat boosting move, it copies the stat changes. Oh, that's pretty gnarly. Need to buy some from the dude guy.
I really went off the beaten path, huh? I get so far downstream. I didn't go that way. I went. Yeah, so I ended up in a cave over here, ish. All right. Try this again. <laughs> current overuse of things and men is. The Palafin and Iron Bundle got kicked to Ubers. Fried rice is beyond help. Oh, jeez. probably needs a different sauce and it would need to sit like you'd have to heat it up let it sit for a bit and then it would I mean, like really really heat it and it would require a very particular kind of sauce probably <laughs> it's understandable iron bundle naturally learns flip -turn. it's a few days naturally learns flip -turn. oh boy sounds tough some level stats with ice and water stats. Yes, please. Ah, I see. This way. I knew there was something in there. Oh my, there's totally something hidden here. How is this not jumpable? You're a psychic type, right? Am I having to go to some sort of cave or something? Pocket punches are cute. Nice. do what this game wants me to do.
Hmm. Sounds interesting. The band aside. I guess when there's some event here I just cannot comprehend. It's just hard, but it's like, there's gotta be some sort of cave I'm supposed to go into or something. Very little sense to me, though. You're the dude. I know. Have yeah, thank you. There's like nothing going on right now. I'm so confused. I'm kind of just getting. Okay, game. Maybe I should talk to the guy and get and be like, all right. If I go there, then what do I do once I get there? At the destination, then like nothing's happened. Okay. Fair enough. Evolves at 54. That is a really, really late evolution. Poison Fang? But why? Somebody's playing a prank on me. Sixty. Wow! This goes in a circle. Just, I just ended up in the middle of nowhere again. Arg. Where travel this way again? Let me just. I can fight him now, I just had to go over there. Okay, whatever. That's a good reference. Level 54. Oh boy. Same piece for Gar Garganax Religion Orthworm. MP is Wicked File.
Why did it show me something all the way over in that one corner? That's something I said a while ago. Son of a gun. <clears throat> Alright, let's try and get this gym. I'll try to get this, this gym done before, but I don't know. Well, a small? Sure, can do. Why do you have so many small of anyways? Esmeralda! This much? You just open up a faster path. Uh. Place. Hmm. Dude, anyways? Oh, no, I don't. But I want to. You'd be like, hey, it's pink. That is a good idea. I mean, that's a good thing to do. So, show the shinies in the overworld. That way, you already know if they are or not, and then, uh,. Them olives. Olives be gone. In. <laughs> Why put me all the way back over here? to the goal. Like, there was much to it. You just doing this gym now? Yeah, um, yep. I got sidetracked in the cave and I was catching things in there and, and catching this and catching that and then I, I just ended up over at the psychic lady 
And uh, I was like, yeah, no, it's not time for this place yet. And I was going towards the one marker on my map, but I think the one marker, like the marker on my map, I thought was where I was supposed to go. They just wanted me to cover right next to the thing of the town. I could have had this done like hours ago, but whatever. This game is going to be nice and slow for me, I guess. So now you know how I play my Pokemon games. Really fucking slowly, okay? But yeah, my uh, my playthrough right now and all my and this the previous times I played Pokemon on screen feels about as slowly as I usually play Pokemon. Actually, BDSP might have been the fastest I've ever played through a Pokemon game. <laughs> Add more emphasis on that. <laughs> I challenge your notion. <laughs> Fair enough. But there's a there's a lot more freedom to move around in this game than previous Pokemon games, so it's probably gonna take me. Double the amount of time before a normal Pokemon game takes me. But I think once the, the ball gets rolling, it'll it'll just speed. It'll just speed through eventually. Eventually the, the ball gets rolling enough that. But um It's nice to see somebody enjoying it and not rushing through. Don't rush. And also don't don't mistake me. Me me using me using the uh, foul language wasn't to get back at you or to spite anything. It was just to really emphasize that I Look, because even I, right now, looking back in the past, I was like, I really, really did take my time and just venture and do everything in a Pokemon game for both red and gold. And then I was starting to do that with Gen 9. I uh, was doing that a bit, doing that a lot with kind of Arceus. Arceus, I kind of forced myself to stay, to stay focused. Um, and BDSP, I especially forced myself to just power through that game and not, not uh, sidetrack. Which was impressive that I could actually do that, but it was kind of like not the way I normally poke Pokemon. I was kind of like, eh, eh. And I was trying to actually power through this today, and I just ended up being sidetracked. And I guess that's just the way I play Pokemon games. It's, it's funny. It's funny. So I have to, in this essence, I've learned something about myself that is consistent and just probably going to be unchanging. It's funny, though. I will I will take the moment to laugh at myself that, like, a slow poke might speed through this game faster than I will. There's that. Russia's your dog anyways. Fair point. Very fair point. You're giving up on Google? Beat the game on launch weekend? Sure. <laughs> so did Professor, yeah. Professor and his apprentice. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'll go find cans to go thing my bobs. Why are there so many jigglypuffs and Fidos? Yeah, so a lot of jigglypuffs. And Fiditos. You were on a roll out there, pun intended. I hear you were on a roll out there, pun intended. A big congratulations from me for successfully clearing the gym test. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Best of luck. Katie the Sugar Book. What's up, Landon? I like 11 videos that are scheduled throughout this week. Next week and the week after that week. Nice. Good scheduling. Trying to search for reference, but no matter how many keywords I specified not to include, I still end up with <laughs> still end up with furry artwork. Damn. Maybe twelve. Uh oh, uh oh, wow, wow, that popped up. Uh oh. Do 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 do. Huh. Got to them real quickly. I'm sitting there. I'm reading your message, and I just see that pop up, and I'm just like, wow. Wow. I'm trying to report, thank you. Uh, make sure all this stuff goes to YouTube. I keep in remove it instead of report. I'm like, why isn't it reporting? I'm clicking too low. Maybe 12 on the video that's gonna be published in like 15 minutes. Ah, oh, okay, I see. Yeah, it's damn bots. <laughs> yeah, bonk, murder. Perhaps that was because of your message. Mm -mm. Maybe, maybe not. It would. It's that. That is rather. What's the word? 
Um, that is very coincidental. Hilariously coincidental. I think you will, Landon. I think you will. Even I'm, well, I could say surprised. I'm just like, wow, nice job, man. Get that back, cute little Vivillion. Vivillon. Balloon. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you very much for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. Oh, did I forget to introduce myself? Forgive me. What kind of voice am I doing? I don't know. But enough of the spider webs! It's scary. My name is Katie, and I am the owner here at Patisserie Soberi. Oh, that's right, I'm not in my shop. I'm on duty as a leader of the Cortando gym right now. Forgive me. Mm -hmm. My name is Katie, and I'm the gym leader here in Cortando. Let me see for like a robot. I think they all do. My main line of work is crafting sweets as a pastry chef. And steal some Danish. Heck yeah, Danishes! Little sweets that bring happiness with just one bite. Bug type Pokemon hiding in foliage. Or foliage. Both are small and yet very powerful. Don't let your guard down unless you would like to find yourself knocked off your feet. You're challenged by the gym leader. You mean I've challenged the gym leader. Her face is full of bugs health code violation. She wants you to eat the bugs. No. I agree. No. That's the metal bug anyway, so. Steel bug, Shh. quad, quad die. Mmm, nice number of experience points. Yeah, she wants you to eat the boogs. No boog, no no boog boog. Yeah, the boogs. No no boog. It's crazy. What does that mean? What does that mean? A teddy or oh, that's weird. Peppermint cream puffs? Oh yeah! Peppermint cream puffs! Yeah, heck yeah! Yeah! Yes! 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 Hmm. Okay, that doesn't sound better. I'm sure I guess it's pretty normal anyways. Yeah, get in there and just kick it. Kick its face in. Kick the bear. Save some for you. Will do. Buy like three extra for you. <laughs> I mean, we'll be lucky if you probably even get through half of it. <laughs> oh, you're quite good, aren't you? Oh, I forgot. That's what you said. How should I roll things up from here? Like straight, just, just straight over that. Over the wall. Just, just walk down the pathway. Just go back to your bakery. It's all done for. You can give it like bug type. Okay, they're probably always terrestrial. I'm gonna have to live stream German Christmas. They do the same thing, singing thing that they did in the, um, in the Gen 8. Multi professors call me your Pokemon Adventures. Yeah! Here, bug. 
Sorry for playing with you too much there, Katie. Just fooling around. That's her Chorizo Primark. I'm oh, sorry, I read that as Chorizo <laughs> Professor. Chorizo Primark. <laughs> that makes up for a good card title. We're speaking of food, so I thought Chorizo. <laughs> Chorizo. Mmm. All my sweet little Pokemon dropped it like flies. Your strength rose during our battle like a nice bread in the oven. That's suggestive. I feel that I may need to work on my own strength as well. Congratulations, you passed. As proof of your victory against me, the gym leader, allow me to present you with this gym bag. I hope you enjoyed alongside a heaping serving of some of my deluxe handmade treats. Yes, please! Give me the Danish. Heck yeah! Pastries! The Chorizo has a boss that gives bombs. Wait. <laughs> With one gym badge of position, Pokemon up to level 25 will be easier to catch and will listen to your commands as well. Finally, I can do stuff with Scyther. It's a little late though. I mean, I'm already kind of on the path to having a lizard team with two fire types, but eh, whatever. I see you have quite the appetite as well. How about the little TM as the frosting on this cake? Pounce. What does it do? Lower speed. Hmm. Once you found a TM during your travels, you can use you can then use a TM machine to make copies of that TM. You did know that, right? I wish you luck in your future adventures. May they be as sweet and lovely as a good dessert. Well, thank you. Off you go then, until we meet again. Off you go No, I'll beat this thing just on time <laughs> to go towards 4 o'clock for some Magic the Gathering. Hey, hey, Altiel! Just had to tell you, my Pokemon are learning some pretty cool new moves. Be ready. How to go to the gym, by the way. I passed. Yes! <laughs> I mean, it was obvious you were going to pass, but congrats. I'm so glad I encouraged you to take on the gyms. Nice job, pass me. I'm training hard too, by the way, day and night, going all over the place to boot. Thank goodness we've got the map out. It helps a ton with figuring out where to go next, especially in a huge place like Paldea. After all, the path to getting stronger usually has some strange stops and detours. Hmm. Speaking of going strange places, I wonder what Arvin's up to. Anyway, catch you later. I hope you know I'm gonna want a battle if we run into each other. Yeah, yeah, I know you will. I'd rather save out in the middle of the town. Alright. Save. A Pokemon up to level 25 can listen to you. Oh, they're on the verge! I mean Scyther will listen to me now. But I kinda do want to put it in over Salad it. But I want to Salazzle. Nah, I'm probably gonna put it back in over Salad it anyways. Just for I don't even know what it covers. <laughs> I don't I have no clue. You wish you were more productive. I hear you there. I need to be more productive myself. But being productive is a choice. You just choose it and go, hmm, I'm going to. Because half the time, we waste more time talking ourselves out of being productive. Like, it takes, you, you spend you spend 40 minutes telling yourself not to do something that takes 15 minutes. And it's just like, when you get it done, you're always just like, how so fast? Why did I, why did I avoid it so much? But all right, that is it for now. I've actually, finally, after five and a half hours, I finally accomplished something in Pokemon Scarlet. Where I actually beat one gym instead of just meandering around forever, being completely overleveled. Oops! But hey, you know what? It was fun. You just never bothered. I get that. So, but yeah, oops, hey, at least. I was still having fun, by the way, so. Looking forward to playing this next week. So! Saying that I need to get X done is a sure way to, a sure way to get very little done. Yeah, yeah, you got a point there. I would say maybe it works for some people, but I, it probably does not work for most people. So, it's going to be just a few minutes. 
Give me a moment here, I gotta end this stream. We'll start the magic one. I'm gonna hop right into it. It's gonna rain in game. Then, uh, nothing tomorrow. Thursday, we'll do a little bit of. Uh, we'll fin no, not even a little bit of. We'll finish up. Uh, we'll finish up Kirby 64, get those crystal shards, beat the final boss. And then Sunday will be big run. Uh, for those of you with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the new course pass comes out tomorrow, but I uh, won't get to stream that until next week. Sorry about that. But uh, that's what it is. So, have a good one if I don't see you for magic. Take care. Stay hydrated. Thank you as always for tuning in. I will be seeing you again really, really soon. Who will?